I will be reading the whole of Genesis in under one sitting. Like I won't leave this chair right here until I finish reading the whole book of the whole chapters of Genesis. So essentially, there are like 50 chapters in Genesis. And um, yeah, the reason I'm doing this challenge is like I've been feeling lazy recently and I'm, it's not supposed to be like that for me you know i love youtube so much like i love making videos and if i'm feeling some kind of laziness like this is what keeps me up and for you all that don't know i also love uh, i also love god i also love jesus and you know reading the bible will like you know give me more knowledge about what went on like in whole of genesis and if this video gets more than 1000 views to be honest 1000 views i'm going to read the whole of exodus in one sitting and maybe if that one gets 1000 views or 2000 views i will that's how I'll continue to like finish the whole book of the the whole holy bible yeah and yeah that's you know to help me psychologically and you know to give me knowledge also so you know you are also helping me out and also helping me out and you know you know if you click this video please watch at least five minutes of this video or please at least five to ten minutes so youtube has to promote it to more viewers because if you just clicked on this video and you're like skipping out of it right now it won't help me at all and i need people to see this video so please 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 just help me out but if you, you don't have to watch the video just have like play the video on your uh, mobile phone laptop whatever you're watching from just play the video and leave it so you can just like run five minutes and you can skip um please Please, 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 please. Thank you so much. And share to your classmates, your friends, whoever it is that you know, just share this video to them. Like if you're a YouTuber, if you're a YouTube, uh, any kind of creator, maybe TikTok, Instagram, wherever you're creating videos, just think about the stress I'm about to go through. Think about what I'm about to put myself in just by reading the whole of Genesis, the whole chapters in Genesis. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's like um 50 pages or 50, I don't know, but you know. So let's get into Genesis 1, right there, that's where I'll start from, and let's go. Genesis 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters, which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so and god heard the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day and god said let the wa let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding good seed and the fruits tree yielding uh fruits after his kind whose tree whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought Fought grass and the herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in after his kind was in itself, sorry. Was in itself. Okay. After his kind and God saw that it was good and the evening and the morning were the third day and god said let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years 
and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and god wow. made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the low and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and god said in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the earth from the darkness and god saw that it was good and the uh, evening and the morning were the fourth day and god said let the waters bring forth upon abundantly the moving creature that had life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven and god created great whales and every living creature that moved which the waters brought with the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and and every wing oh my goodness bro this guy oh man and every wing fowl after his kind and god saw that it was good and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the fowl multiply in the earth and the evening and the morning were the fifth day and god said let the earth bring forth the living creatures after his kind cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after Ooh, we'll just six minutes in, bro. Really, creeps of the earth, of the earth, and um, where am I? And cattle after the kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Again, and God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let." and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and all over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created his in man in his own image and in the image of god created and in the image of god created he him male and female he created them and god blessed them and God said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish, and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fowls of the earth and, the, and every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in the in the which in the which is the fruit of a of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be be for meat and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the earth of the air the earth of the air and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. That's two. Okay. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all work which God created and made. These are the generations of heaven and, the earth, and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist of the earth and watered the whole face of the ground, and the Lord God formed man 
the Lord God formed man from dust. Mm-hmm. It's in the Bible, I don't know why it's visible. Yeah, yeah. And the Lord God formed man from dust and breathed, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted the garden east west, eastward in Eden. And, uh, and there he put the man whose, whom he had formed, and out, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight, and good for food, the tree of life, and also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden uh, to the water of, um, God, of the garden, and from thence it was parted. And became into the foreheads. The name of the first is Python. That is it, which is which compassed the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. And the gold of the land of that land is gold. There is Delium and the Ons stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compassed the whole land of Ethiopia, and the name of the river is Heidekel. That is, that is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is educated Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the, the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat from. For in the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's in the day they eat the fruits, they will die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help for I will make him and help meet for him. And out of the ground and out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whoever Adam called every living thing, every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave name to all cattle and to all the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But Adam dear was not found and help meet for him. That's and help help me help meet. I think it means like a wife or yeah. And I apologize for the way my camera is right now. I'm recording off a laptop, and I know none of you, nobody is going to watch till the twelfth minute of this video. So there's no need of apologizing, but for you. That's still watching till now, your hero and your legend, and I'm apologizing for how my camera is. So, yeah. Mm, that was all, that was all. The Bible is really interesting to read, so this challenge might be like, it seems like it's going to be like easy for me, but you know, it's to be hard, eyes already closing, I will just literally in the 13th minutes. Okay, let's continue. And the Lord God caused. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead of thereof. And the ribs which the Lord God had taken as had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is how this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Do I look so good enough? Mm, this is the correlation. He shall be called woman. Because she was taken out of man, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cre- and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, and the man and the, and his wife were not ashamed. Now the serpent 
was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And, the, and he said unto the woman, Ye had God said, Ye shall not eat from every ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpents, We may eat of oh finally on the next page, people. The next page. In the 14th minutes are finally through. Like so if I'm to read the whole of this Bible to take me like about maybe one week straight, like if I wouldn't stop. So in the fruit of the of the trees of the garden. Maybe more than one week, who knows? Maybe a month or even a decade. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, of, of, of neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Bro, the ye and the less and the heart. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God does, for God do it, for, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one witch, one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did it, and gave also unto her husband Adam with her. And he did it, and he did it. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed big leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord walking into the into the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the from the presence of the Lord, from the Lord God against the trees of the garden. And the and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He's wise now. And he said, Who told thee thou was naked? How thou eaten, have thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee thou shouldn't eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to me, she gave out of the tree, and I did eat. Oh, the Bible is so difficult to read, man. The Bible is so difficult. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is thou, what is that thou have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did it. The serpent beguiled me, and I did it. Okay, we're well, on the seventh. Okay. Where am I? And I. Uh, and I did it. And the Lord God said unto the woman. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art caused about above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, and upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put an enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. I sh it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. His heel. Unto the woman he said, I will great I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow that thou hast Oh my goodness well. Thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hath eat of the tree. Of which I commanded, of which I commanded thee, 
saying, Thou shalt not eat of Cost is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of all the days of, your, of thy life. Thorns also, and the, uh, these two shall eat bring forth to thee. Oh, is it my eyes on? And also, I have electrolytes to help me keep up with this for the next 10 hours. Actually, I have two. It's not, I don't know where I am. Thorns also and taste to bring me undone with that one. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out, for out of it was thou taken, for dust thou shalt return. And Adam called his wife name, called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make, Lord God make folds of skins and clothed them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now let he put forth his hand and also and, and also take of the tree and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him sent him forth from the garden of Eden to the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out of the heaven and placed at the east of the Garden of Eden, cherubims, and the flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she convinced and Pierre came and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a Sila to the ground, off the ground, and the process of, oh my goodness, bro, I have no idea how you guys would be watching this video, bro, the camera is so whack, like I can literally see, oh, you see my eyes, oh, See my eyes or the camera is so bad right now, bro. Um, I can't afford a camera, so I guess that's on to and Abe also brought of the first wings of his flock and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. But unto Cain to his offering he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his con and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Who art thou wrought, and why is thy countenance thou thy countenance fallen? If thou if thou dost if thou dost it well, shalt thou not be accepted? If thou doest 
does it not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with his brother Abel, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is my where is Abel thy, thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And uh, he said, What have thy done? The voice of the brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now hast thou caused from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tilleth the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive, a fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth, and from the face thou shall I hide. And I shall be fugitive and vagabond of the, in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him seven phones. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Upon Cain. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Lest any find him shall should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwell and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she convinced, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad began Mehujel, and Mehujel begat Methusel, and Methusel begat Lamech, and Lamech took on two him two wives the name of the of the one was ada and the name of the other was zila and ada where jabba where jabba bear jabba he was the father of such as dwell in the tents and of such half cattle and his brother's name was jubal he was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ and zila was and Sila, she also bear to bow king and instructor of artificial in brass and iron. And the sister to bow king was Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zila, hear my voice, hear my voice, ye wives of, Ma of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my heart. If Cain shall be avenged seven phones, truly Lamech seventy and seven phones. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said she had appointed another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Oh, I and to say it to him, also there was a, was born a son, and he called him, and he called his name Enos. They began men to call upon the name of the Lord. This is the book of the generation of Adam in the day that God created man. 
in the likeness of God that is made. That's made. Likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day and the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness and after his image and called him and called his name Seth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. So tired. Oh. This camera is so. Oh. I called his name Seth. Okay. And the days of Adam, after he had begotten Seth, were eight hundred years. And he begat sons and daughters. Uh, no one's gonna watch till this time, so I'm safe. Haha. <laughs> Bro, like this camera is making me look so black, bro. Like, this is not actually my goal. So, in case of all of you that are still watching till the 31st minutes of this video, I know literally nobody's gonna watch this video. This video is obviously, I'm not, I will not use my tongue to say something, uh, you know, to spoil. Maybe this video was gonna get like 10 million views. I'm using my tongue, I'm not going to use my tongue to spoil it. So, but I'm so, I don't know why I'm so black in this video. I have no idea, but this is not actually my color. I'm black, but this is not the way I'm. This is so black. Okay. Um. Back to the reading. And Seth lived an hundred and five years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. Uh, and Enos lived ninety years, and he begat Canaan. And Moses, and Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifty years, fifteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the, the days of Enoch were hundred and five years, and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years, and begat Mahalalel. And Canaan lived after he begat Mahalalel, Mahalalel. 800 and 840 years yeah and begat sons and daughters and all the days of canaan when were 910 years and died yeah 900 and, bro, 910 and my hell lived 60 and my hell lived 60 bro this is so terrible my face looking at this camera is so terrible Like for real, why is he looking this way, bro? It's not supposed to be this way. Like, yo, focus. Yeah, it's supposed to be somewhere like that. Whatever, man. Still good. Mm -hmm. And my little late sixty, uh, late sixty and five years. Mayala lived 16 and 5 years and begat Jared. And Mayala lived after he begat Jared 830 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mayala were 895 years and he died. And Jared lived in a hundred, in a hundred sixty and two years and begat Enoch. And, and Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 and 
800 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died and Enoch lived 65 years and uh, begat Methuselah and Enoch walked with God and he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Enoch were, were 360 five years and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took and he was not for God took him and Methuselah lived on um, 180 and seven years and began and begat Lamech and Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech 782 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died and Lamech lived on uh, 180 and two years and he begat a son and the name he called Noah and saying this same shall comfort us consigning our work and tour of our hands because of the ground which the Lord had caused and Lamech lived after he begat Noah 500 95 years five hundred years is crazy Five hundred and ninety-five years, and Noah begat Shem, Aham, and Japheth. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the Lord, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose, if they which they choose. And the Lord God said. My spirit shall not always strive with, with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. They were glance in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the when the sons of God became when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and the bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men and we know and god saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and every imagination of thoughts of his heart was only continually and it repented the lord that he had made man on the earth and grieved him at his heart and the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping things and the fowls of the air for it repented me that I had made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was just a man and is perfect and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God, and Noah began and Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The, the earth was also corrupt before God. And the earth was filled with violence, and God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupt his way upon the earth and god said unto noah the end the end of all flesh is is come before me for for the earth is filled with violence and through them and through them and behold i will destroy them with the earth Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and, sh and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of the 50 cubits, and the height of the 30 cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubic Cubit shall thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shall thou set in the sides thereof, which lower 
with lower second and third stories shall thou make it. And behold, and behold, I even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt thou shall come into the ark, and thou and thy son and thy wife and thy son's wife with thee, and of every living thing of flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring in the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Yo, I is already telling now, bro. It shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive, and take thou unto thee all the food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou all thy house unto the ark, into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous. For thee have I seen. Oh my goodness, bro, this camera was so bad. For thee have I seen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's where I am again. That's where I was again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did know according to all God, so he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation of every clay base. Every clean beast that are not clean by two, the male of his female, or fowls also of the air by seven, the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and it will, and I will remain, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will destroy from from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood was when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons with and his sons wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts and the beasts that are not clean and of the fowls and everything that creepeth upon the earth they were in two and two unto noah in into the ark the male and female as god has commanded noah and it came to pass for seven years for seven days and the waters of the flood were upon the earth in the six hundred year of noah's life In the six hundred year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seed, the seventh, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day where all the fountain of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and uh, in the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham, and Japheth the son of Noah. And Noah's wife and the three wives of his son with them into the ark. They and every beast after its kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and birds of every sort. And they were and they went into Noah in unto Noah into the ark. 
two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they went in and went in male and female of flesh, as God has commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up the, sh the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. The face of the river. Yeah, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and the high bills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the water prevail, and the mountains were covered, and all the flesh died that moved upon the earth both of fowl and of cattle and of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man all in whose the nostrils was breathed was the breath of life and of all that was in the dry land died and every living substance was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground both man and the cattle and the creeping things and the fowls of the heaven and they were destroyed from the earth and noah only remained alive and they that were with him in the ark, and the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days. So literally the water lasted upon the earth 150 days. Um, so now I'm in chapter 8, and it took me 46 minutes to get to chapter 8 of the Bible. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark, and God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged. The fountain also of the deep and the windows of heaven were, so were stopped, and the rain from heaven were restrained, and the waters removed of the earth continu continually and after the end of uh, the 150 days, the waters were aborted. So, meaning the water would the dis disappeared, and, and the ark resist and the ark rested on the seventh month, on the seventh day of the month, upon the mountains of Arafat, of Ararat, and the waters decreased continually. Until the tenth and until the tenth month, tenth month, in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, when the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he sent forth a, a raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from the from of the earth and he also fought a jewel from him to see if the waters were abated from off the ground of the of from off the ground from off the face of the ground but the dove found no rest from for the sole of her foot and she turned unto him in the ark for the waters were on the face of the whole earth then he put forth his hand and took her, and put her into his own ark, into the ark, not his own, there was only, there was only one ark. And he stayed yet other seven days, and again he sent forth the dove of the ark, and the dove came in 
to him in the evening. And lo, in her mouth was an olive pig plucked off. So no one knew that the waters were abdet, were aborted from the earth. And he stayed yet others another seven days and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him anymore. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and, be, and looked. And behold, the face of the ground was dry, and in the second month of the seventh of the seven and twentieth day of the month was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth unto the ark, and thy wife and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee, sons' wives with thee, sons' wives with thee, bring forth the, the every living thing that is with thee, and of all the flesh, both, both of fowl and the cattle, and every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be truthful, and be fruitful uh, and multiply upon the earth. And no one went forth and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing and every fowl and every whoever creeps upon the earth after their kind went forth out of the earth. And no one built uh, an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings in on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet fav savior. And the Lord said in his heart, "I will not cause the ground. I will not cause the ground any more for man's for man's sake, for the imaginations of man's heart is evil from his youth." Neither will I again smith any more everything living and as I have done. Why the earth remained seed time and the harvest and cold and heat, summer and winter, and all the day and night shall not cease. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful. And multiply and replenish the earth, and the fear and the fear of you and the dread of you shall not be shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowls of the air, and upon all the moving uh, and upon all moveth that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into the into your hands are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat, shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is blood thereof, shall ye not eat, that you should not eat humans, your fellow humans. Mm. And surely your blood of your life will I require, at the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso shedded man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. And you, and be, and be ye fruitful, and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to the sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you, and with every living creature uh, that is with you, of the fowl of the cattle and the beast of the earth which with you, from all that go out in, of the ark, to every beast of the earth, and I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all the flesh be cut off any more by the waters of the flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make 
between me and you and every living creature that is with you. For perpetual generations I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of covenant between me and the earth, and, I shall co and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water and the waters shall be no more because become a flood to destroy your flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I'll look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I established between me and all the flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went front of that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And uh, Ham is the father of Kath Canaan. Canaan, Canaan. Bro, oh, the names they asked from back to date. Okay. I am not for the sun from the I'm already here. Wait, what up? Okay, yeah. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were shame. Yeah, I've reached this way. And he drank of one. No, this one. And Noah began. Oh, like every single time I drink this stuff, okay. romantically forget where I am. But like it's so after. Just like I just said. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and he was drunken, and he was covered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told him two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went and went backwards, and covered the nakedness of their father and their face and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness and Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son has had done unto him and he said cost be canon a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren and he said blessed be the lord god of shem and canon shall be his servants God shall enlarge his effect, and he shall dwell in the tent of Shem, and Carmen shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years, and all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. 10. Now these are the generations of the, of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were the sons born after the flood, the sons of Japheth, Comer, Goner, and Margot, and Dan, Dan, Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshesh, and Tiras. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenesh, and Raphat, and uh, Togama. And the sons of Japheth, Elisha, and Tashish, Kimin, and Dodani. 
by these were the, were the isos of the Gentiles divided in the land, every one after his tongue, after their families in, the, in their nations, in their nations, and the sons of Ham caused and Mizraim and Fort and Canaan, and the sons of Kosh, Seba, Halila, uh, Sabta, and Raman, and Sabes, Tash, and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dinan, and Kush, and Kosh began, and Kosh begat uh, Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one, a mighty one in the earth. He was a mass, he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Myrod for even as Myrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, said, even as Myrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, said, <laughs> and the beginning of the hunt of the kingdom of ba of Babel and uh Erich and Akkad and Canaan in the land of Shina. Out of that line were fought Ashur and builded Nevina, Nive, on the river uh, Rehoboth and Kela, and Resin between Nive and Kela, the same is a great city. And Mizraim begat uh, Ludim and Anamim and Rehabim and Nav to him and pass with him and pass with him. Bro, who and literally in the first hour of this video, it is so much progress, guys. And um, bro, hey, yo. and my friend just walked in in the first hour, so yeah. now I now I've forgotten where I am again. And Canaan begat uh, Sidon, his firstborn, ahead, and the Jebus, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, and the Jabazites, and the Hevites, and the Archites, and the Sinites, and the Avatites, and the Zeramites, and the Hamatites, and afterwards, where the families of Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanite was from Sidon, and oh. and now comments to Gaira. <laughs> unto Gaza as thou goest, unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adma and Zebom, and unto Lasha. These are the sons of Zam. Of Ham and their families after their tongue in their countries and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Ashol, and Aphazat, and Lord, and El Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, Uhu, Hageda, and Mash, and Aphaz, and Aphazad begat Selah, and Selah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, and for in his days were the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Uh -huh. Joktan, and I'm going to get it. And Joktan begat Amodat, and Shelef, and Havamavet, and Jela, and Haru and Haduram and Uza and Dikla and Oba and Abimel and Sheba and Ophiel and Hari and Havila and Jaho. And they were the sons of Jokten. Bro. Names in the Bible were so hard. And their dwelling from and the dwelling was from Mesha. And thou goest unto Sepha, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Simon, of Shem, after their families, after their tongues in the land and the nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations in the, in the nation and 
By these were the nations divided unto the earth and the flood. And the whole earth was, one, was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as the, as the journey, journeyed from the east, that they found the plain into the land of China, and they dwelt there, and they said to one another, Go, go, to, go to, let us make brick, and burn thoroughly, and they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, go to, go to, let us build a city and a tower whose top many may reach to heaven. Oh, so this is the, um, let me just keep reading this. Yes, now. May reach to heaven. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 by month, I'll, I'll. May reach to heaven the songs of heaven. Oh, what's this? Stop, stop this charade. And let us make a name, lest we be gathered or abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to the to the, to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and these they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have, uh, have imaged to do. I dare you to read the Bible for one hour straight. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. This is not originally my answer. So I don't still know why I'm still talking. Okay. Okay. Go to, and you see, never mind. Go to, let us go down and they confound their language that they may not understand one another speak, one another speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the Lord. From thence upon the face of the Lord. The earth, not of the Lord, and they led to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all earths, and from thence the, 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 the Lord scattered them abroad from the face of the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begat Aphod two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Aphod five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Aphod lived five hundred and thirty years and begat Selah. And Aphod and Aphasad lived, is actually Aphasad, but I'm like shortening to Aphod because their names in the Bible are hard to pronounce and they're like congesting all of them together for me to pronounce them. It's so difficult. And Asod lived after he begat Selah four hundred and set and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirteen years and begat Abel. And Selah lived after he begat Abel four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Abel lived four hundred and thirty years and begat Peleg. And Abel lived after he begat Peleg four hundred and thirty years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived and Peleg lived thirty years and begat Ru. And Peleg lived after he begat two hundred and nine years, and he begat sons and daughters. And Ru lived two hundred and two hundred and thirty years, and begat no two two hundred and thirty years, and began soon. And Liu and Liu lived after he begat Seru two hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And Seru lived three uh, thirty years, and begat Nago. And, and uh, Seru lived after he begat Nahor 200 years and begat sons and daughters. And Noah and Nahor lived 920 years and begat Teru. And Noah and Nahor, after he begat Teru and uh, 109 years and he begat sons and daughters. And Teru lived 70 years and begat Abram, Noah, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Teru. Teru begat Abram, Noah, and Haran. And Haran 
begat, begat Lord. Begat means to give birth, to have, to produce, whatever. Okay. And uh, Huron died up. Uh, Died because before his father Terah in the land of his of his nativity, in your of the chair of the Chaldees. And Abraham and Nahor took them wives, <laughs> took them wives. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Mala and Micah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Micah and the father of Iscar. But Sarah was barren. She had no child. And Terah took Abraham, his son, and uh, Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarah, his daughter-in-law, and, and his son's Abraham wife, and they went forth in with them from your of the Chaldees. Go to the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and unto the land thou shalt, thou I shall show you. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou, forgive me, forgive me again, forgive me again. And thou shalt be a blessing. Oh Lord, bless me with this video. Go oh, at least more than 1,000 views, maybe 10 billion views. <laughs> so Abram, so Abram departed and as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him, and Abram was 70 and 5 years old when he departed out of Zehera. And Abram looked took Sarah his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance that they had he, that they have gathered sorry and Abraham passed through the land unto the place of Shai of Sichem, unto the plan unto the plan of More and the Canaanites was then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto thy seed, Will I give this land? And they were builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence unto a mountain of the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and high on the east. And there, and there he built it he builded an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed, going on still towards the south. And there was a famine in the land, and Abraham went down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was grief, grievous in the land. And it came to pass when he was come near to the to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold, now I know that, that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his, this is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. But they will save thee alive. They will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for, for thy sake, and, uh, my, and my soul shall live because of thee. It came to pass that Abraham was 
was uh, it came to pass that Abraham was into Egypt. The Egyptian beheld the woman and uh, that she was very fair. The princess of uh, the princess also of, Ph of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh. Uh, before Pharaoh, what? And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house, and he entreated Abraham well for her sake. And he had sheep and oxen, and oxen, and he and he and he, and he asses and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels, and the Lord plagued. Pharaoh and his wife with great plagues because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. And Pharaoh called Abraham and said, What is thou that I have done? What is thou that I have done unto me? Why is thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why thou say thou she is my sister? So I have taken her to my wife. Now thereof behold thy wife, take her and go away. Bible is fun. Can I be? 13, Genesis 13, took me one hour and 15 minutes to reach Genesis 13, so just take, think of, think of how much, oh, oh. and Genesis, I think Genesis ends at uh, 57, uh, what, hold on, let me check, oh, 50 actually, Genesis ends at 50, and I'm just in the page 13, the chapter 13, actually, not. I don't know, I don't even remember what I said the first time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him and sent him away. And all that he did that he had, and Abraham went up or out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all he and all that he had, and lot with him into his into thou sight. What? Into thou sight. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Keep shaking. Just keep shaking. Hey yo. <laughs> Um, mm, 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 mm. No, I have not forgotten. And he went on his journeys from the south, even to the Bethel, even to the even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and High, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first and the and their Abraham called on the name of Lord. And Lot also which went of the Lord, and Lot also which went with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tents, and the land was not able to bear them, and and that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could dwell together. And there was a strife between the headsmen and uh, of Abram's castle and the headsman of Lord's castle and Canaanites and Perizzites and Perizzites dwelleth then in the land. And Abram said unto and Abram said unto Lord, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, be between me and that and thee, and um, between my headsman and thy headsman, for we be brethren. It is not the whole land before thee. It is is it is it not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee from me, and uh, if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I'll go to the left. It's easy as that. And Lord lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plan all the plain of Je of Jordan that it was well watered everywhere be before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, and thou comest into Zor, unto Zor. 
Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot, and Lot, John, and, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from another. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the city of the plain, and pitched his tents toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners between before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abraham, After that Lot was separated from him, lift up thy that now thy eyes. Ah brother. Ah bro, this is so weird. I like I can only see my mind. And look from the place where, and the Lord said unto him, after the Lord was separated from him, lift up thy eyes and look from the place of northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, seest, to thee will I give, and thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thou seed be numbered. For all the land which thou seest, to thee I will give, to, to thee will I give it too, right? And to thy seed forever. And to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk, arise. Walk through the land of, in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abraham removed his tent and came and dwelt in the land in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron. Well, oh, I know Hebron, never mind. Go and see. And built there an altar unto the Lord. And it came to pass in the day of Am Amraphel. King of Shina, Ariok, King of Elisa, Chedulaima, King of Aram, and Zida, King of Nations, that these made war with Bera, King of Sodom, and uh, Bisha, King of Gomorrah, Shina, King of Adma, and Sheba, King of Zebion, and the King of Bela, which is Zor. And these were joined together in the veil of Sidim, which is Sot, which is the Sot Sea. Twelve years they served Chedolimio, and on the twelfth and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year come Chedolimio, and the kings were that were with him, and smote and smote the Raphim in the asteroid Camion, and the Zumims in Ham, and the Emins in Shave Kiriaton. And the Horites in the Mount Seor and the Elpran, which is by the wilderness. And they returned and came to M to Emishpat, which is Kadish, and smote all the country of Amalekites, and also the Afro Amor <laughs> and also the Amorites that dwell in Shemite. I'm still drinking, bro. Like, I need lots of enemies for this video. Okay. Yo, bro, I'm literally reading the Bible here. And that's for my energy. Don't finish it. Bro, this energy drink, you don't expect it to taste so. That's all. Bro, like, I've forgotten where I am. I'm finishing this shit, dude. No, no, I need more. And I have like 10 hours to, I have like 9 hours to go. I only bought two. I'm supposed you, to buy like two. What are you doing 9 hours for? Voice can enter this. I'm not, I didn't post it just so you know. And they returned and came to. Okay, I've read this side, I've read this side, and I've read this side. And the veil of Sidon was full of slime nepites, and the king of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there, and, the, and they that remained fled to the mountain. That was actually my friend, in case you're wondering, in case you just skipped back because you didn't know what happened. It was not a script. He actually came and took one of my electrolytes, which I need to get my muscles to do this video. Mm -hmm. 
And um, bro, please don't catch up. And they took all the goods of Sodom and, Sodom and Gomorrah. So it's gonna be fun. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all the vitriol. And all the vitriol and went their way. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came one that had escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mare, the Amorites, the brother of Esco, the brother of Anna, and they were confederates with Abraham. And when Abraham heard that his brother were taken captive, he armed his trained servant, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them into them. And he divided himself against them, and he and he and his servants, and he and his servants by night, and smote them, and pursued them, and pursued them, no, it's push, and pursued them into uh, Heba, which is one which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his uh, goods, and the women also, and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet after to meet after his return from the slaughter of Chedorlaomer, and the kings that were with him, and the valley of Shave, which is the king's dale, and the and the Micah and the Micah king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High Lord. And he blessed him and said unto him, Blessed be Abraham, the Most High God, professor of heaven and earth, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High, which hath delivered thy enemies into thy hands, and he gave him, and he gave him tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abraham, Give me the persons and take the goods to thyself. And Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the heaven, the most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I would not take from a thread even to a true latchet, and I will not take anything that is not that is thine, lest thou should shouldest say I have made Abraham rich. Save only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men which went with me, Enal, Eshaw, and Mare, let them take their portion. And after these things, with the Lord of the with the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield, shield, and thy exceeding great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, that what will what will thou give me? Seeing I go childless and steward of my house is the aged Elijah of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold to to me, behold to me, have have thou given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is my hair. Hair means like um um like the nest, the nest one. Yeah. And behold, the word Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy hair, be thy hair, uh, but he but he shall come forth out of thy ball, balls, bowels, shall be thy hair. And he brought him from, and he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven. And tell the stars, if you be able to number them, and he said unto him, So shall they be shall the seed be thy seed be. And he believed unto the Lord, and he counted it to him for his righteousness. And he said unto the Lord, and he said unto him, I am the Lord, I am the Lord that brought thee out of all of your of the childish. To give thee this land to inherit it. 
And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I have inherited, inherited it? And he said unto him, Take me and hair a hair far of three years old, and she and she and a she goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these and divided them into the midst and laid each piece one against another. But the birds divided he not. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, and horror of darkness fell upon him. And he shall, and he said unto Abraham, No, and no of a sure see that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs, and thou shalt save, and thou shalt save them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years, for four hundred years. Yeah, yeah, four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with the greatest with the great substance, and thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, thou shalt be buried in a good old age, but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and, the, and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp and passed between those species. Please light up, please, please, come on, come on, come on, light, light, please show, light, please show, light, light, please show, bro. Thank you. Eighteen, fifteen, verse eighteen, chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. In the same day, the Lord in the in the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed shall have I given the land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river of U U Euphrates, the Canaanites and the Canaanites and the Cav. Cadmosites, Cadmonites, <laughs> and the Hitlites, and the Hittites, and the not Hittites, Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, Rephams, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Giraphites, and the Jerophites. Now Sarah fights, fights, fight. And Sarah, Abraham's wife, bare him no child, and she had an, an handmaid. An Egyptian whose name was Hagar. Yeah. And Sarah said unto Abraham, Behold, now the Lord has restrained me from hearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abraham here. Hearneth to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to his wife. And he went unto Hagar, and she convinced, and she conceived, and when she saw that uh, she had convinced her mistress was despaired, was despised in her eyes. And Sarah I said unto Abraham, My wrong My wrong be upon thee, I have given my name into thy bosom, right? Into my into into, <laughs> into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had convinced I was despised, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judged me and thee. 
And Abraham said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleased thee. And when Sarah dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to shore. And, the, and he said, Hagar, Sarah's maid, whence camest thou? And whither will thou go? And she said, I flee from thy face of the mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself unto her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angels of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall, and shall bear a child. And shall bear a child, and shall call him Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a white man, his, his, his hands will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And he shall, and he, and she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. For she said, Have I also looked after him that seeth me? Therefore the whale uh, was called Beer Lahiru. Beer Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. And Heber and Herka bear Abram his son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bear Ishmael. And, he, and Abram was fourscore, and six years ago, and six years old, not six years ago. When Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram, and when Abram was nineteen years old and nine, nineteen years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, "I am the Lord, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me, and thou shalt be prophet, and be thou prophet. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly." And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked to him, talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Be neither shall thou shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be called Abraham. For a father for many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceedingly exceeding fruitful. And I will make the nations of the of and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in thy gener in their generation, for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein Thou art a stranger, and the land, and the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession. And I will call, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant. Therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye had, which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man, child. Among you shall be circumcised, and she, and she, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant. Best twist me and you, betwist me and you. I think they meant be, between, between me and you, but it says here bet, 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 betwist. Maybe that's what they called it in the you know the olden days, and he. That is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, and every man child is in your generation. He that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger, which not of thy seed. He that is born in, in thy house and he that is bought with the, thy money must needs be circumcised and 
my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant and on on the uncircumcised uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised thou so shall be cut off from his people and he shall be my broken covenant and he has broken my covenant circumcised yeah yeah no one's gonna watch this to this point so well, you know i'm free to say whatever i want i said this i will because you know i can yeah never mind uh, Lord, please give me strength to complete this video. Man. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. So thou shalt not call her Sarai, but Sarah her name shall be. And I will bless her, and I will give her, and I will give thee a son of also, and I will give thee a son also for her, also of her. Yea, I will bless her now, and she shall be a mother of nations, king of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old, and, say, and shall Sarah, which is ninety years old, bear? And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear a son indeed. And thou shalt call him, call him name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with him, and with his seed after him. And and as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and I will multiply him and exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. And I will make him a great nation, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at, the, at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that... All that, uh, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, and all and every male among the men of Abraham, Abraham's white house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the self same day as God said, as God has said unto him. And Abraham was 90 years old and nine. That's uh, 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And in the self day was Abraham circumcised and Ishmael, his son, and all the men of his house, born in the house, and bought with the money of the stranger, were circumcised with him. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of, Mer of Mamre, and he sat tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men 
and looked and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to them to meet them from the tent door, bowed himself to towards the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servants. Let a little water, let a little water, I pray you, be fetched from and wash your feet and rest yourself unto the thou, unto the tree, not the thou. Yeah. And I'll fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts after ye shall pass on. For therefore, and are ye come to your servants, and they shall say, and this, and they say, so do as this the, Yo, it's difficult to read the Bible. It's not difficult, but you know, the pronunciation, no? it's kind of hard. No? Okay. Now I'm lost again, again. I'll just have a minute. And the Lord lifts his eye and he returns to the blah, blah, and said, my Lord, if now, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servants, let a little watch on a fresh, 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 and I'll fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall. After that ye shall pass on. For therefore, and I ye come to your servants, and they said, So do as thou said. And Abraham had hastened into the tent, into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready, make ready quick three measures of thy of fine meal. Quick three measure of fine meal. Knead it and make cakes upon thy heart. And Abraham, and Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man. And he had dressed and he had to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it up before them. And he stood by them under the tree and did and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thy accordingly to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it on the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and were striking in the age. And it ceased to be with Sarah. And after the manner of woman, and after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within her servants, saying, Ha ha ha, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, be old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did she, did Sarah, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I shall I of a surely bear a child, which am old? Sorry, again. Is there anything to add for the Lord at the time appointed? I will return unto thee uh, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son.
Oh, Bible, YouTube, same. Mm -hmm. It's the grind. That's the guy. And also, this is really helping me out, you know, because I always wanted to read the Bible, the entire Bible. I, I had no idea of how I'm going to, like, you know, start that kind of a thing, you know. So, if you're watching me this video right now, maybe you're watching this part of the video, maybe you like you skipped and hopefully, luckily, you met me speaking, you met me saying this exact part of the video. You know, I'm just doing this because, you know, I want to get my zeal up. That's my passion. I want to increase the passion for you too. And also, I've always wanted to read the Bible since I was little. Like, I always wanted to finish um, the Bible from Genesis to um, true Revelation. So, you know, this is actually helping me out. You know, I've read like, I mean, the, the 18th, chapter 18 of uh, Genesis. And it's, it just took me like one hour 50 minutes so that's like basically two hours to for me to get here and um let's continue good seeing that abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed for in him for i know him that he will continue his command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had that which he have spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because thy cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done or altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me, and if not, I will know. And the Lord and the men turned their faces from thence and went towards Sodom, but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Would thou also destroy would thou also destroy the righteous from the wicked? Peradventure there be fifty righteous within the city, would thou also destroy and not spare the place? For the fifty righteous, they are daring, they are daring, that be far from thee to do after his manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and the righteous should, should be as the wicked, that, that far from thee shall not the judge of all earth do right. And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place of their, for their sakes. And Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which I which am but dust and ashes. But eventually there shall lack five of fifty of the fifty righteous. Without destroy all the city for lack of five. But I've wait home. But eventually, they lack. But eventually, they shall lack righteous within the city. Without also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous they are daring. That be far from the from the two this manner to slay the righteous slay the righteous so where am I to slay the righteous with the wicked and that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of all earth do right. And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom, okay, see, see, for eventually they shall have five of five of fifty righteous without destroy all the city for the lack of five. And he said, If I find there forty and five, 
I will not destroy that if I find 45 righteous people, um, city in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. I will not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So what happens next? And he is back unto him yet again and said, Paraventure, bro, Paraventure is not a it's not a new word. Like, bro, they they literally use Paraventure in the Bible. It's crazy. Paraventure and just Abraham. 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 Abraham too, by the way. On Abraham should and then man. But eventually there shall be forty found here, and he said, I will not do it for forty sake. I will not do it for forty sake. And he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak for eventually there shall be thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it. If I find thirty thirty dear, and he said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, but eventually shall there be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty six. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this one. But eventually let them let ten be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten six. And the Lord said, And the Lord went his way and Soon as he had left communion with Abraham, and Abraham returned unto his place, and there came two angels to Sodom, and at even. And Lord sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lord seeing them rose up to meet him, them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground, and he said, Behold, my Lord, son, in I pray for you. I pray you into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Bro, I'm And they said, No, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon the greatly upon them greatly. And they turned into him and entered his house. And they turned into him and entered his house. And tarry all night and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, oh, we have read this. And he pressed upon them greatly, oh, and, and did bake unleavened bread, and did not eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the, the house round both food and young, all the people from every quarter. And they said, and they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into this day this night? Bring them out unto us, and we may not know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after them, after him, and said, I will pray you, brethren, do not do not so wickedly. And behold, now I have two daughters which have not known. Man, let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good into you in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of the roof, of my roof, of my roof. And they said, stand back as they said again. This one fellow, this one fellow came into sojourn, and he said, he will, and he said he will need to be a judge. Now will we deal was with thee than with them? And they pressed so upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and put um, Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they swat and they smote the men that were at the door at his house with blindness, 
both small and great, so that they will weary themselves to find the door. And the man said unto Lord, Had thou here any besides son in law and sons and daughters, whoever who thou in the city, bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place because because the cry of them is waxing, is waxing. Because the cry of them is waxing and uh, Unto his because the guy of them is walking unto his son in law. And when the morning arose, the angels hastened, uh, the angels hastened, Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which also here let thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while they lingered, the man laid upon uh, the man, the man laid unto. The man laid uh, a lot went on to the uh, the man went onto his hand and opened on up upon the hand of the wife and upon the hand of his two daughters and upon the messes merciful and the Lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city and it came to pass when they had brought them them forth abroad that he said escape for escape for thy life look not behind thee neither stay down in all the plain escape to the mountain lest thou be confused and Lot said unto them oh no my Lord, behold, behold, now thy servants had found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me. In saving my life, I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold, behold now, this city is near to flee unto and it is little one, or let me escape title in brackets open and close. It is not a little one. And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have see, I have accepted thy concern. I have accepted the concerning the thing. I've accepted the concerning the thing also that I will not overthrow this city for the for the which have thou spoken. Yeah, it's what was. For which have thou spoken. As to the escape tire. For I cannot do anything uh, till thou become tighter, 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 tighter. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zo. The name, the sun was risen up upon the earth. When Lot entered into Zo, the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire and fire from the Lord out of heaven, and uh, overthrew those city and all the plain. All the inhabitants of the cities, uh, and that which grew up upon the ground. But his wife looked back after, but his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham get, got, uh, got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah and towards all the land of the plain, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of uh, of furnace, furnace, and it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and set Lot out of the midst of the overthrow. When he overthrew the cities of the which Lot dwelt, and Lot went up out of the zone and dwelt in the mountain, and he and his daughters with him for he feared to dwell in Zoe. 
and dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is a man, and there is not a man in the earth to uh, come in unto us after the manner of the earth. Of the earth. Come, come, let us make our fathers drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may that we may preserve the seed of our father. And they made their fathers drink wine that might. Wine that might, right? Um, that night, that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father and perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the night road, the firstborn said one to the younger, Behold, I I lay yesterday night, yesterday night, what is yesterday night? I lay yesterday night with my father, uh, let us make him drink uh, wine this night also, and go down in and lie with him, and we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night, and that night also, the younger arose and lay with him and perceived not when she lay down nor when she arose thus were both the daughters of Lot with the child by the father and the and the first one bear a son and called him uh, Moab and the same and the same is the father of Moabites unto this day Moabites and the younger she was she also bare a son and called his name Benamite. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day. Ammon unto this day. Now we I'm in chapter twenty, so yeah. Just for the energy, though, no, it's that drink. The drink is for the energy. So, it's really, um, and Abraham journeyed from hence, from thence towards the south country, and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, she's my sister, and Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. Uh, but God said, but God came to Abimelech in the night by the night, mm -hmm. dream of the night, and said to him, Behold, that out in but a dead man, for the woman which has taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech, 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 has not come near her, and he said, Lord, Will thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she and she even she without slay also a righteous nation, and even she also and she herself said, He is my brother, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands shall have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou mist in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from shining, from sinning against, against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the, man's, for restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and not, and thou shalt live. And if, and if, and uh, if not I restore the hands, know that thou shalt surely die, that all thy doubts are done, brother. 
Their family match rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears. And the, and the men were so afraid. And yeah, I, I pronounced it correctly. So afraid. It's not so afraid. So afraid. And um, mm. Then, then Abelimech said, because Fuck you, nigga. Fuck your asshole. And Abraham said, Because I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet, indeed, she is my daughter. She's my sister, she's the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she's and she became my wife. And it came to pass when God caused uh, my wonder from my father's house, then I said unto her, This is thy kindness, which thou shalt throw unto me at every place whither we shall come, said of me, he is my brother. And Abelimesh took sheep and ocean. And uh, men servants and women servants and gave them to Abraham and restored him Sarah's wife and Abraham and Abelimesh said behold my father is before thee dwell uh, where it pleaseth thee and unto Sarah he said behold I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver behold he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other thoughts she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God and God healed uh, healed Abelimech and the wife and the miss and the maid servants and bare children. For the Lord have, had fast closed up all the wounds all the wombs of the house of Abelimech because of Sarah's Abraham's wife. Yo, this camera is, bro, this camera is, is in my book. So, Genesis 20, 20, 21. And the Lord visited uh, Sarah, and he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah, and he had spoken. For, Sarah's con for Sarah convinced and bare Abraham a son in his old age, and said the time and set time of which Abraham had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, and, whose, and whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac after eight days, as God has commanded him to. And Abraham was hundred years old, and when the son Isaac was born unto him, Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God had made me laugh so that all he, all that will hear will laugh unto me. All that will hear will laugh with me. And she said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah would have given children suck so that I have born him a son in his old age. 
And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a, a great feast. Great feast, the same day Isaac was weaned. To be honest, I have no idea what wind means. So, and they say, and Sarah, wait, and Sarah, uh, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out. Cast out his bondwoman and her son. Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be here, here with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in the. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy grand woman, and in all thy and all that and all that Sarah had said unto thee, had, had came unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thou seed be called. And also of the and also of the son of the one bond man will I make a nation because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up in the early morning, who uh, rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, 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 putting it on on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. And the child and sent her away, and she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was sent in the bottle, and uh, in, and the water was sent in the bottle, and she cast the child onto under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat down over uh, against him a good way off, and it were a ball shot, uh, for she said. Let him let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over he against him and lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard uh, the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What I let thee, Hagar, fear not, for God had heard the voice of the of the lad where he is. Arise up the lad and hold him in thy hand for i will make him a great nation and god opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the bottle of water and gave the lad to drink and god was with was with the lad and he grew and and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer and he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at the time, at that time, that Abimelech and Fico, the chief captain, and Fico, the chief captain, wait, hold on, bro. and Fico, the chief, bro, what's my ear holding, bro? You and Fico, the chief captain, where's what I put like I'm lost again, babe. again, again, again. And Fico, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. Doest now, therefore, swear unto me, thy me hear thy God, that will not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and unto the land wherein thou hast so journeyed, journeyed. And Abraham said, I will swear, and Abraham reproved the because of a well was 
well of water which Abba's servants had violent, violently taken away. And Abimelech said, and Abimelech said, and Abimelech said, I will not who had done this thing. Neither does thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it. But to this day, and Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What, what mean, what mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shall thou make shall thou take off my hand that they may be a witness unto him that I may dig this well. Wherefore he, wherefore he called that place Belteba, because they swore both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Belsheba. Then Abimelech rose up and and called the chief captain of the host of his host, and they returned unto the land of Philistine. And Abraham planted a grove in the Beersheba. And called dear on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God, and, and Abraham sojourned in the Philistine land many days. And it came to pass after this thing that God did not tempt Abraham and, and said unto him, Abraham, and said unto Pro, Abraham, and said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take that, take now thy son. Thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, <laughs> and take thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. You know, actually, I was planning on reading this Bible for the next 10 hours and like, or like almost three hours in. But I'm like changing things up. Like, you know, it's like, it's some, like, I don't want to forget where I am. Whoa, that's crazy. Towards the covenant, make sure we have the match. No, no, finish that. And Abraham plans the job and God. And it came to pass with 22. And it came to pass with, have I reached to Yeah, I have. And it came to pass after these things that God did, Abraham said, and Abraham, he said unto Abraham, Here I am. Uh, take not the Umariah son. Right. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually done. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac with him son and Isaac his son and claved the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God has have told him. Yeah let me let me see what I wanted, what I wanted to say. Yeah 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 to be honest like I know none of you will like watch to this part but if you notice the way I speak is not really like you know clear. Like I'm trying to like develop uh, some kind of another kind of accent. Yeah, I love my Nigerian accent, but I'm still trying to like get the American accent because most of my audience like they are Americans and you know yeah. Mm -hmm. I will learn eventually, like in like one year or two years. But that's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to actually say was that this the point of this video was supposed to be me reading the bible for the next 10 hours and hopefully by the grace of god we're like up to two hours and 30 minutes in but i'm changing things up a little bit like i want to spice everything up instead of me wasting not wasting because i'm actually getting knowledge from this stuff instead of me staying 10 hours making this video right without any points there is a point but yeah i'm going to make this video of the title is going to be 
reading the entire I don't know how to put it there because I just thought about it right now. So to be like um, I'm reading the entire book of Genesis in one sitting. So it's really a good kind of title um, instead of me reading yeah and I will say in the title I also put um in the title I also put um if this video gets 1,000 views, I will read the entire Bible in one sitting. And yes, I can do it. You know, bro, this dream is hard, bro. But you know what's good? It's achievable, you know? It's very hard, but it's achievable. You know, not everybody is willing to sit down for three hours straight reading the Holy Bible, bro. And I know, like, as far as no one is doing that, bro, like, yeah, this is it for me. So, like, literally, in the book of Genesis, we have 50, yeah? We have 50, oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, no, bro. No, I don't think you guys can see it, but yeah. Those are, we have 50 chapters in the book of, yeah. Fifty, and I'm gonna read it. So chapter twenty two, uh, verse Bro, like for real, this is not this. Never mind. Bro. And just so you know, I'll be redoing the title, the intro of this video because yeah, I'll be redoing the intro because you know I changed the yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off, and Abraham said unto his young men, "Abide ye here, uh, with." The ass, what's the ass? And I and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again with, to you. And Abraham took the wood of the of the burnt offering and, and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both them together. And they went both them together. Uh, uh, and Abraham took the wood of the uh, burnt offering and laid it upon his son Isaac. And he took the fire in his hands and a knife, and they went, the boat went up together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham, his father, and said, my father and he said, "Here I am, my son." And he said, "Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for the burnt sacrifice? But for the burnt offering?" And Abraham said, "My son, God will provide Himself for lamb for a burnt offering." So the so the both went up together, and they came to the place which God have told him of, and Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And I and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. Here I am. Here am I. Damn. Sorry. And he said, uh, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that, fearest, that thou fearest God, seeing that thou not retell thy son, thy only son from me. Like, it means like, uh, it means like um, this particular parts of the Bible, it means like uh, God was like testing Abraham if he would sacrifice uh, his son just because God, him, he told him Abraham to sacrifice. And Abraham literally passed the test, so um, let's move on. 
And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, himself, him, a ram caught in a ticket by his stones. And Abraham went and looked and took the ram and offered him up for a bond offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. And it is the and it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. That's the meaning. It's in the mount in the in the in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. That's the meaning. And the angel of the Lord called Abraham and out of the heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this, and thou not withheld thy son, thy only son, thou that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto uh, his young men, and, the rose, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba, and it came to pass after this things that it was told Abraham, saying, because, Behold, Micah, Milcah, or Micah, she had, she had also born children unto thy brother Nahor. Hoz his firstborn, and Hoz and Boz his brother, and Kumo the father of Aram, and Chest and Hoz and Hazo and Pilda, Tildash, and Jufab, and Nav and Betua, and Betua begat big Rebecca. This eight built Milka did not did hear to Maha, Abraham's brother. Ooh, I know. And his concubine, which whose name was Ruma, she bare also Teba and Geham and Tesha and Micah, and Sarah was an hundred and seven and twenty years, like one hundred and twenty-seven years when they were years of the of life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kajak Abba. The name is uh in the the name is Hebron, uh in the land of Canaan, and Abraham. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood and stood there from heaven, stood there from before his dead, and spoke unto the son of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and sojourner, sojourner with you. Give me a possession of burial place with you, that I may bury my, my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heath answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord, for thou art a mighty prince among us, and the choice of the shepherd of the said poultress dead, bury thy, thy dead. None of us shall withhold from this said poulture. But thou shalt, but that thou, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of heads, and he communed with them, saying, If it if it be your mind, I shall I should bury my dead out of the sight, out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Zohar, that he may give me the cave of much fella which he had, which is in the end of his field, for as much money as it as it worth, he shall give it, it me for a possession of a bearing place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth, and Ephron and the Hiti answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, of Heth, even all of even of all that went in the gates of the city, saying, Nay, my Lord, hear me, the field giver, thee, and the cave that is therein, I give it thee, bury thy dead. And Abraham bowed down himself 
before the people of the land and he spoke unto Ephron and in the in the audience of the people of the land saying because but if thou wilt give me i pray thee hear me i give thee money for the field take it of me and i will bury my dead here here and Ephron answered Abraham saying unto him my Lord, hearken unto me, the land is with and the land is what four hundred shackles of silver. What is that between me and thee? Bury therefore thy thee, thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver which he had named the audience of the son held. Four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchants, and the and the field of Abraham. Of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before Manri, the field and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that's there in the field, <laughs> that's there in all the borders around about. We are made sure unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of heads. Of head before all that went in at the gate of the city. After this, and after this, Abraham buried uh, Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field, Machpelah, before Mary, the same is Hebron in the land of Canaan. And the field, and the field, and the field, and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Abraham for the possession of bearing place by the sons of Heth. Verse 2 oh, By the son of Heth and love. Uh, 24, um, chapter 24, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had, had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servants of, the Lord of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put I prayer thee thy hand under my tie, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the the God of heaven and the God of earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughter of the Canaanites among whom I dwell, but shall but thou shalt go unto my country and to the kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And these servants said unto him, but eventually the woman uh, will not be willing to follow me unto the land. Must I need bring my son unto thee from? May I need bring my son unto thee from? Again, unto the Lord from whence thou comest. And Abraham said unto him, Be Beware thou that thou bring my son tighter again. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from father's from my father's house and from the kindred, and which stay and which spark unto me, and that swear unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land. He shall send his angel before me, before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. And, I will, and if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then shalt thou be clear from this my oath. Only bring my, only bring not
Only bring lots bro. I keep losing this, bro. And only bring not my son title again. And if the woman puts and if the servant puts his hand under the, the tie of Abraham his master and swear to him concerning the matter, and the servant took ten camels out of the camels of his master and departed, and from all and for all the goods of his master were in his hands. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the land unto the city of Nahor. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city, and by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord, of, o Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee send me good speed this day and show, kind, and show kindness. Uh, it was actually shoe, so uh, it's not bad. It's not. It's not my fault. But also, yeah. And shoe kind and no, yeah. yeah, and shoe kindness. I lost it again. And shoe kindness. Never mind. And, he left, and, 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 and behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee that I may drink, and, shall, and she shall say, Drink, and I will drink thy, camel, thy camels, drink also. Let the same be. She shall she that thou have appointed from for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold Rebecca came out who was born to Bethuel, son of Micah, the, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with a pitcher upon her shoulder, and the dams and the damsel was very fair to look upon a virgin. Neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up and the servant ran to meet her and said let me let me i pray thee drink a little water from of thy pitcher and she said drink my water uh drink drink my lord and she hastened and let down her pitcher and upon her and gave him drink And when she had done giving, uh, and when she had done giving him drink, and when she had done giving him drink, it's literally how it's written here. Look, so don't think. It's, never mind, you can't see it. Huh? <laughs> and when, and when he had done giving him drink, uh, she said, "I will draw water from, I will draw water from thy camels also, and until they have done drinking." And she has a bro. Imagine if this video gets like 100 million views, bro. Like 100 million views, like it's gonna be crazy. Bro. Like, I'll be so happy. My mom will be so happy. My dad will be so happy. I'll be so happy again. Then the world is gonna be so happy because you know, this has never this this has never literally been done in the history of YouTube. I've seen I actually before I make videos, right? I actually like so the internet and like I check, I, I literally search on YouTube to check if um, the video has been done before. If it has been done before, I back off. I don't do videos that other people have done before. So I try to like think my my arm, um, like I always try to be unique. And you know, yeah, I think it will help me out a lot in the future. Maybe, but I'm not expecting much from this video, but by the grace of God, 
this video is going to be where i just know and the man wondering at her at her held this piece yeah 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 to wait whether the lord had made his prosperous or not and it came to pass and the camels had done drinking that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets of her hand and of ten shekels weight of gold and said whose daughter art thou tell me i pray thee is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in bro this and she said unto him i am the daughter of bethuel the son of michael which have bear unto nehal she she said moreover unto him we have both straw and proving uh and proving enough and room to lodge in and the main and the main bowed his head and whisper and worshipped the Lord and he said blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham who had not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth and uh, I been in the way the Lord led me to to the house of the master's brethren brethren and the damsel ran and told them of her father of her mother's house of her mother's distance, of her mother's house distance, these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran unto the man, unto the well, and it came to pass when he saw the earring and bracelet upon his sister hand uh, upon his sister's hands and he and he heard the word of rebecca's him his sister saying thus spake on uh, uh, the man unto me that he came unto the man and behold he stood by the camels at the well and he said come in thou blessed of the lord wherefore thou that, that standest thou without for i prepared the house and rooms for the camels and the, and the man came into the house, and he ungathered his camels, and gave straw and provender for his camels, and water uh, to and water to his feet, and the man's feet that were with him. And there were set meat before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat I, until I have told my errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, uh, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord has blessed me, my masters, greatly. And he is great, become great, and he has given me, given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and messengers and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses and eight and Sarah's and Sarah, my master's wife, bear a son to a master when she was old, and unto him had he given all the half, the half, right, half, 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 yeah, and my master was, and my master made me swear, and my master made me swear, saying, thou shalt not take a wife to my son, of the daughter of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son. And I will say unto my master, Paraventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before I, who might walk will send his angels with thee and prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred. And my and of my father's house. I don't okay here yeah, here yeah. Then shall thou be clear from this or uh, from this hmm? Then shall thou be clear, then shall thou be clear from this my oaths, 
when thou comest to thy kindred, to my kindred, and if they give not thee one, thou shalt be clear of my oath, from my oath. And I came to this day unto the well and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if now do thou do prosper my way which I go. If now thou do prosper my way which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin comment or comment forth to fetch water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, I leave my a little water for thy pitcher to drink. And she's move. Come on. And she said to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman whose Lord had appointed out of my master's son. And before I had done, and before I had done uh, speaking in my heart, behold, Rebecca came forth with a pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water and said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made her so and let down her pitcher from her shoulder and say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink, and also I so I drank. And she made the camels drink also, and I also and I asked her, and she said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of no neutral, Nera son, uh, whose micro bear unto him, and I will put the earring upon thy her face, and the bracelet upon thy hand upon her hands and I bow down my head and worship the Lord and bless the Lord God of my master of my master Abraham which made which had led Master Abraham which had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if ye and now if ye will now if you will kindly and truly with my master tell me and if not tell me that I may turn to thy uh, to the right hand uh, or to the left hand. Then Laban and Mocho answered and said, The thing proceeded from the Lord, we cannot speak unto the bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is thee, is before thee, take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, and the Lord has spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servants said their, their words, be worship the Lord, bowing himself to the earth, and the servants brought forth jewel of silver and jewel of gold and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. He also he, he gave also to the bro to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did not and they did eat and they did eat he and the men that were with him and tarried all night and they rose up in the morning and he said, Send me away with my master and her brother and her mother and let the damsel abide us with a few days and and at least ten after that she shall go. And she said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord had prepared my way, send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call thee damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebecca and they called Rebecca and said unto her, Oh God. And they called Rebecca and said to her, 
Hmm? I said to her, Will thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away, and they sent away Rebecca, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant as his men. And they, and they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, Thou art that thou art uh thou art our sister, thou art our sister, thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gates of which uh, hates them. And Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels, and uh, followed the men and servants, took Rebecca and went his way. And as he came from the way of the of the Lahai roads, Lahai for, La for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field and at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her, her eyes, and, she, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted up the camel. For she had said unto the servants, what man is this that walketh in the fly and the field to meet us? And the, and the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her and Isaac brought her into his into his mother's house. Your eyes ready down. And Isaac brought her into and Isaac brought her into his mother's Sarah's tent and took Rebecca and she became his wife. And he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. 25. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Ketura, and she bare him uh, Zimram, Jokshan, and Midian, and Midian, and Ibshak, and Shuak. And Jokshak begat Sheba, and Deran, and the sons of Dedan, and Ashrum, and Letutum, and Limion. And the sons of Midian, Nephah, and, and Ephah, and Enoch, sorry, uh, not Enoch, Ha, Enoch, and Eb, and Abidai, and Abida, and uh, Elder, and, and these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of concubines, which Abraham hired, Abraham gave gifts and sent away from Isaac his son. Why he, why he yet lived eastward unto the um, east country. Your 25 is long, bro. Ooh, I got so a long way to go. And these are the days of the years of Abraham, which he which he lived, and hundred three score and fifteen years. And then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, just like we always want to. Like we all want to die in a good old age. Like you know, that's my dream. You know, to a lot of yeah, never mind. In a good old age, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the, in the cave, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, and uh, the field in the field of Ephron, the son of Zoya, the Zatitite, which is before Mary, the field which Abraham purchased of his son of Heth. There was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. Uh, and it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God 
blessed that God blessed uh that God blessed his son Isaac and Isaac dwelt by the well Rahiru. Uh mm -hmm. now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whose Hagar, uh, the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bear unto Abraham, Abraham, and uh and these are the names of the son of Ishmael by their names according to their generation, the firstborn of Ishmael, Ne Nebajok and Kedar and Abdel and Mib Mibsam. You know, it's three hours in each time it's three hours in the video just cuts. Yeah, the video cuts um sorry, I don't think that was the right word. The video cuts. The video ended, yeah. And that was on, uh, yeah, 14, not 14, but verse 14, chapter 25. And, um, and Mish, Mish, Mishma and Duna and Masa, Heda and Tema and Jeto and, Jeto and Nashish and Kedima. These are the sons of Ishmael and these are their names and by their towns and by their castles, Prince Best, Prince, Twelve princes according to their nations, and the, these are the and these are the years of yeah, and these are the years of Ishmael, and hundred and thirty and seven years. That's one hundred and thirty seven years he lived. Because then he gave up the ghost and died and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Heva from Hevali unto Shore that is before Egypt, as thou go, go, go west toward Azira, Assyria, and he died in the presence of all his brethren, brethren. And uh, brethren means people, and I know you guys know it. I'm sorry. Um, died of all his uh in the presence of all his brethren, and uh, and these are the days of. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's sons. I uh, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of uh, of Bethuel. The, the Syrians of Padam Aram, the sister to Reban, the, the Syrian, and the Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, con conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in, in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb. And uh, please like now. Please like now. Please like. Don't grow. Don't make me bro. Just please like no, bro. Thank you. Two nations are in thy womb. And two manners of people shall be separated from thy borders. And the name of the... And the... And the and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Mm. And when her and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name. Esau. And after that came out his brother, and his brother took out took hold on Esau's hill, and his name was Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old, and she can and she and she bear them. And the boys grew up, and Esau was cunning, was cunning, was a cunning hunter 
a man of the field, uh, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents, and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat, he did eat of his venison, and Rebekah loved Jacob, and Jacob saw the portage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray, I pray thee with that same red potage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau, behold, I am thy, and I am the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and, and he swear, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Okay, so this is where the story comes from. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Unto Jacob. Unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of, of lentils. And he did eat and drink, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. And there was a famine, there was a fake mine in the land, in the land, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac, went on to Abimelech, Abimelech king of uh, Philistines, unto Jera. And he said, and the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down unto e Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in the land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee for unto thee. And unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, uh, my, my statutes my sorry my statues my laws and and isaac dwelt in jera and the men of the place asked him of his wife and he said she's my sister so he feared to say she's my wife let's say him the men of the place should kill me for rebecca because she was fair to look upon and it came to pass when he had been there a long time at abelmech king of the philistine looked out the window and saw and behold Isaac was sporting with uh, Rebecca with his wife wow. and Abimelech called Isaac and said behold of a shorty she is my wife she is thy wife and thou and how and how thou and how thou she is my sister and how thou sayest she is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, Behold, I said, Let I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is thou hast done unto us? One of the people might lightly have lain with, with thy wife. Good. And surely I've lain with thy wife. And thou shouldn't shouldest have brought go guiltiest upon us. Upon him, sorry. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great, for he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants. And the Philistines invaded 
him for all the wells which his father's servants has digged in the days of Abraham, his father, who the Philistines has stopped them and and filled them with earth. Amnabalimech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Abraham departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley in the valley of Jera and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of father of water and which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names of, by which his father uh, had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found their way and found their a well of springing water and headsmen of of Jera did strive with Isaac headsmen, saying, The water is ours. And he said, The name of the well Esek, because they strove with him. And they digged another well and strove also and strove for that also. And he called the name of of, of Sitna. And he removed from thence and he removed from thence and digged another well. And for that the shove not, and he called the names, and he called the name of it Rahabov. And he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went upon, and he went from Dice to Belsheba, and the Lord appeared unto him in the same night, and said, I am the Lord God of thy father, fear not, for I am with thee. I will bless thee and multiply thy seed. And I will bless thee and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. And, the, and he builded an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his and pitched his tents there. And dear Isaac servants digged a well. Oh my goodness, please, 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 if you're literally watching this right now, please subscribe. It's not easy. And uh, I try to push myself every single day just because I don't want to, like, you know, fall out of YouTube. Uh, if I'm not doing this, you know, what am I supposed to do with my life? So please support me. And, you know, it's so, I find it weird when someone says support me. So please subscribe. You know, you don't, yeah. And Isaac, an Isaac servant digged in the valley and found a well. Okay, I read this. I read this. I read this. Mm -hmm. And he built an altar. Uh, and he built it. And he built an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched there. And there's Isaac servant digged the well. Then Abimelech, Abimelech went to him for Gera and Ahu. Al-Huzat, one of his old friends, one of his old friends, and Fi and Fico, the chief captain of his army, and Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing, seeing ye hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw certainly the Lord was with thee, and we said, Let there be now an oath betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, uh, that thou wilt do us no hurt, as we will not touch thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace, thou art not be, thou art not the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast and gave them drink and water. 
and gave them and they did and they did eat and drink and they rose up bed three times in the morning and spare and swear one to another and Isaac sent them away and departed and they departed from him in peace and it came to pass the day the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well which they have digged and said unto him we have found water and the uh, and he called it Sheba therefore the city the name of the city is She Sheba unto this day and Esau was forty years old when he found when he took to wife Judith the daughter of Barry the Hittitude the Hittite, the Hittite and Bashemat, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite. Which were a grief of mine unto Isaac and to Rebekah. 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, just like mine, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. With him, so he could not see, he called Esau. He called Esau He got Esau, he called Esau, he called Esau. He got Esau his oldest his oldest his eldest son and said to him, My son, and he said unto him, Be, Behold, here am I. And he said, Thou Behold, now I am old and know the day, and I know that not the day of my death. Now, therefore, now, therefore, take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meal, meat, such as I love. And bring it to me that that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Sad. And Rebecca had when Isaac back to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, that's for meat, I hope so, and to bring it. And Rebecca, and Rebecca heard when Isaac spoke to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and drink. And Rebecca spoke to speak to unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me the venison and make me savory meal that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord before I, before the day my death. Now, therefore, my son, open my voice according to that which I commanded thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat of, for thy father, such as he loveth. Mm. And, thou, and thou shalt bring it to thy father as he may eat and he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will fill me, and I, I shall seem to him as a deceiver, as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy cause, my son, only obey my voice. Go and go fetch me then. 
And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made a savory meal, such as his father loved. And Rebecca took goodly remnants of her eldest son Esau, which were her, which were with her in his house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. Mm -hmm. And she put the skins of the kid of the goats upon the hands and upon the smooth of his neck, and she gave the savory meal on, and she gave the savory meat and the bread and which she had prepared unto, which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. I hear. I came unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, uh, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn, I have I have done according and I have done according as thou baddest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat my venison. Take thy soul, may bless me, that my soul may bless me, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that I have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God, brought, the Lord thy God brought it, brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, I, my son, whether that be my very son Esau or not. And and Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The Jacob's voice, but the hand, the, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. Now that's the father right there. And the hands are the hands of Esau. And he descend him not because his hand were hairy and his brother's hand and his brother and as his brother's Esau hands. So he blessed him. And he said, Are thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison that my soul may bless thee, and he brought it near to him, and he did it, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And the father Isaac unto he, said unto him, come near, come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and, the sm and he smelled the smell of his remnants, and, and blessed him, and said, see, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee, the Lord over the over thy bedroom, and my and my mother's son. Bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. And it came to pass as soon as, soon as Isaac, as soon, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from hunting, and he also had made savory meal and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who are thy? He said, I am thy son, thy firstborn, Esau. And Isaac tempered, and Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who? 
Where is he that that had taken venison and brought it to me, and I have eaten of all thou comest, and may have blessed him, and may have blessed and have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the voice of the words of his father, uh, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away thy blessing. And he said, It is not the, it is not, is not he rightly named Jacob, for he had supplanted me two times. These two times he took away my birthright, and behold, now he taketh away my blessing, and he said, Thou hast now reserved a blessing for me. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, And is well, well, and Esau said unto his father, Had thou, had thou, but one, had thou but one blessing, my father, uh, that's do you have only one blessing, my father? And uh, bless me, even me so, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be fatness of the earth and of dew of heavens from above, and thy and by thy sword shall thou live, and by thy and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt be the dominion that shall be the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessings where his father, where his, because of the blessings, blessings wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father at hand, then I will slay my brother Jacob. He turned evil. And this word of Esau, uh, and this word of Esau, these words of Esau, uh, Elder son were told to Rebecca, and she sent, and she sent and called, and she, and she sent and called uh, Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now, therefore, my son. Obey my voice and arise, flee down to Laban, my, my brother to Hiram, and tarry with him a few days until thy brother's few return away. Until thy, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and before uh, get thou which thou hast done to him, and before he forgot, and before he forgets that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I deprive also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my sons of my life because of my daughter of herds. If Jacob take a wife of, of the daughters of herds, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life to me do me? Twenty-eight. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and and he said unto him, Shall not thou shalt not take thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan and arise to Perdan Aram to the house of Petra, of Bedwa, thy father's, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. And God Almighty 
bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee and thou mayest be a multitude of people and give thee uh, the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee uh, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein that thou art a stranger with which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac went away, Jacob, and Isaac went away, Jacob, and he went to Padam Aram unto Laban, son of Bethuel the Syrian, and brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. The Esau, uh, when Esau saw that, when Esau saw that, uh, uh, Isaac has blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padam Aram to take him a wife from thence and has not and he has blessed him he gave him a charge uh, saying thou shalt not take a wife of daughters of Canaan and that uh, Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Pedamara and Esau seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not fa Isaac father Isaac his father then went Esau unto Ishmael and took unto the wife which he had, which he had, Mahalat, Mahalat, the daughter of Ishmael's Abraham's, of Ishmael's Abraham's son, the sister of Nebuchadnezzar, to his wife. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran, and he lighted up upon a certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun was set, and he took and he took the stones of And he took the stones of that place and put them for his pillow and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep and he dreamed and he dreamed and behold a ladder set upon on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it and behold the lord, on, on, the lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land where, whereon they are listed to thee will I give it unto thy seed, and thy seed shall be as dust to the earth of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and in, and in thee. And in thy seed shall all the families of earth be blessed. Shall all the families of earth be bred. Be blessed. You will like to know, bro. Come on, come on, thank you. Uh, be blessed and and behold I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither goes uh, thou goes it and will bring thee again into uh, this land for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to do to to do to do thee spoken to thee of and Jacob awakened out of his sleep and he said surely the Lord is in this place and I knew it's not and he was afraid and said how dreadful is this place this is not other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven and Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put on that he had put for his pillows and set 
it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it and he called the name of the place Bethel but the name of the city was loose at the first place and Jacob vowed a vow saying if God will let me if God will be with me and will keep me in that way I will go and I will give me and, I, and will give me bread so to eat and raiment to put on to put on that cloth and so that I come again so that I come again to my father's house in peace then shall the Lord be my God the Lord be my God and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house and of all that thou shalt give me I will surely give the tent unto thee 29 then Jacob went on his journey and came into the house of the, into the land of the people of the east and he looked and behold and he looked and behold the well in the field and lo there was a sheep there was a flock of sheep lying by it for out of thou there out of that well the water the flows and the great stone was upon the well's mouth and cider were all the flows gathered and they rolled the stone from the well mouth and watered the sheep and put the stone up again upon the well's mouth in his place and jacob said unto them my brethren whence be ye and and they said of the of heron are we as where are you of heron we were heron and he said unto them know ye leban the son of nahor and they said we know him and he said unto them is he well and they said he is well and behold rachel his daughter comment with the sheep and he said lo is it yet hidey and neither is it sign that the cattle should be gathered together water eat the sheep and go and feed them and they said we cannot until, until all the flocks be gathered together until they roll the stone from the well's mouth and and we water the sheep and why yes but and why ye and why will ye and why he yet spoke with them? Rachel came with her father's Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass when Jacob saw uh, Rachel, the daughter of La Laban his mother's brother and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother and the, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the fluke of Laban, his brother's mother. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother and he was Rebekah's son and she ran and told her father and it came to pass when Rahan heard the tidings of Jacob, his sister's son, and he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Reuben all these things. And Reuben said to him, Surely that are my bone of and my flesh. Surely that are my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of the space of moons, the space of a moon. And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, shouldest thou therefore serve me for not? Tell me, what shall thy wages be? And Laban had two daughters, and the name of the elder one was Leah, and the name of the younger one was made of, was Rachel. Leah was tender-eyed, but uh, Rachel was beautiful and well-favored, but, and, uh, Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve this, I will serve the seven years of for I will serve the seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to thee than, than that I should give her to another man and die with me. 
And Jacob served seven years for Rachel and the same from to him, but a few days for the love he had for her. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, and that I may go into her. That I may go in unto her. And Laban gathered, uh, and Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to the pass in, and it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah his daughter and brought her to him. And he went in unto her, and Laban gave unto his daughter Leah Hipsa his maid, for an handmaid, for an handmaid, for an handmaid. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah, and he said to Laban, What is that thou hast done unto me? Did I not serve thee for Rachel? Therefore, wherefore? Then hast thou killed me? And Laban said, It must not be so done in our country to give the younger people younger uh, before the first one. For the first one. Not the first one. The first one. Fulfill her week and we will. We feel we are weak and we will give thee this also for the service which thou which which thou shalt serve with me yet seven other years. And Jacob did so so and fulfilled her week, and he gave him Rachel his daughter to wife also. And Laban gave to Rachel his daughter, uh, Bilhah, her his how his handmaid to be her maid. And he went in also unto Rachel, and he loved also, and he, and he also loved uh, Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. And when the the Lord saw uh, that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, and but Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bare the son, and she called his name Reuben. For she said, Surely the Lord has looked upon my affliction. Now therefore my husband will love me. And she she convinced, she convinced, she conceived again and bare a son, and said, Because the Lord had 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 had, had heard I was hated, he had therefore given me this son also, and she called him Simon, Simeon, Simon, Simeon, not Simon, Simeon. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, Now this time will my husband be joined unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Leah, sorry, Levi. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Therefore she called his name Judah and left bearing. That's and she starts bearing a child. And when Rachel saw that uh 30 number chapter 30, and when Rachel saw that she uh chapter 30 law bro. I don't know. And when Rachel saw that she bare um, Jacob no children, Rachel envied Rachel envy, Rachel envy her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. 
and Jacob anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, "Am um, I, I in God's stead who had withheld from thee the child, the fruit of the womb?" And she said, "Behold, my name, my maid, be her go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her." What? <laughs> oh my goodness. And she gave him be her, her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her, and Bea conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God had judged me, and had also heard my voice, and had given me a son, therefore called she him Dan. She the name him Dan. And Bea, um, Bea her, Rachel's maid conceived again and bare Jacob, a second son, and Rachel said, um, with great wrestling, with great wrestlings, have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed, and she called his name Raphtel. Raphtali, sorry, I bet. I bet. And when Leah, um, that's the, I'm guessing, no, Leah was the elder sister, yeah. And when Leah saw that, and when, and when Leah, <laughs> and when Leah saw, When I saw that she had bearing and she had left bearing, she took Zipha her maid and gave her vehicle to wife. And Zipha, Leah's maid, bear uh, Jacob a son, and Leah said a true comment, and she called his name God. God. G A D, God. And few but leave and few but lead his master and few but lead made here Jacob a second son and Lee uh, uh and Lee said happy am I for the daughters who call me blessed and she called his name Asia and Reuben went in the days of wet uh, of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them unto his mother Lee. Then Rachel said to Lee, Give me, I pray thee, out, uh, I pray thee of my son's mandrakes. mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou had taken my husband, and wouldest thou taken away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for my son Mandrix. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Lee went out to meet him and said, Thou must come in and come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee, for surely I have hired thee uh, with my son Mandrix. And he lay with her that night, and God hearkened unto Lee, and she convinced and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Lee God and Lee said, God had give, given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband, and she called his name Saka. And Leah conceived again and bare Jacob the sixth son, and Leah said, God hath endured, endured me with a God. With a good dowry, now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. 
and she called him Zebulun. And afterwards she bare her daughter and called her Dinah. And God remembered Rachel and hearkened to her and opened her womb. And she called and opened her womb and she conceived and bare a son. Oh, full of sons, bro. And she conceived and bare a son and said, God had taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph <laughs> and said, the Lord, uh, the Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass, Rachel had uh, born Joseph, that Joseph said unto Laban, send me away that I may go on to my own place and to my own country. Give me my wife and my children for whom I have served thee, and let me go, for thou knowest my service which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, I have found favor in thy eyes, sorry, sorry, for I have learned thy experience, by experience that the Lord had blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it away. And he said unto him, For Thou knowest how I served thee, and how the castles was with me for how the castles was with me for uh, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through. I will pass through all thy flock today, and uh, removing from hence. Moving from hence all the prickles and spotted cattle and from and of all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted red speckled among the goats and of such uh, uh, be my hire. So shall uh, so shall my righteousness answer for me in time. So shall my righteousness answer for me in time to cause to come when it shall come for my hire before. My face, everyone that is not speckled upon, that is not speckled and spotted uh, again among the goods and brown among the sheep, and they shall count it stolen with me. And Laban said, Behold, I would eat, I would it might be according to thy word. And he said, And he said, Three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob. And Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flock, and Jacob took him among took him rods of green poplar and of the hassle and chestnut tree, and peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he said on the to reset the rods uh, which bless me. I'm sorry, it's not, it's not. I said the rods which have healed before the flocks in the go in the gutters in the watering troughs watering uh, troughs when the flocks came to drink that they should conceive when they came to drink and the flocks conceived before the rods and brought forth cattle ring strings spread uh, speckled and spotted and jacob did separate the lambs and set the faces of the flocks together as ring Sprigged and all the brown feathers. And all the brown in the flock of Laban, and he put his own flocks by themselves and put them not in unto Laban's care to. And it came to pass who, whenever, whensoever the stronger cattle did. Conceive and um, and Jacob laid the rods before the eyes eyes of the cattle and the gutters that they might 
conceived among the rods, but when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler when uh, lay bands and the stronger Jacobs. And the man increased exceedingly, and he had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses. And he heard the wombs and heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and of we and of that was our father's had he gotten all the glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban and beheld the countenance of Laban and um, For the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto him, unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy father, and unto thy kindred, and I will return to thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel, and led to the and led to the field uh, unto his flock, and said unto unto them. I see your father's countenance, and it is not towards me as before, but the, but the God of my, but the God of my father being with me, and ye know, and ye, and ye, and ye know that with all my prayer I have served your faith, your your father, and your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he does, if he said thus, uh, the the speckled shall. Be thy wages, shall be thy wages, and uh, then all the cattle bear speckled. If he said to us, then the spring creeks shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle's ring, ring strict. Thus God had take, taken away uh, the cattle of your father and given them to me, and it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that. I lifted up my eyes and saw in a dream, and behold the rams, the rams which laid, which leaped upon the cattle were ringed, speckled and greased. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob and I, here am I, here am I, here am I. And he said, lift up those eyes and see all the rams which leap unto the cattle and ring shrink and ring shrink and speckled and greased. Grisled, for I have seen all the labor and do it unto thee. So I have seen all that the labor and do it unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, who where thou anointed the pillar, and where thou vowed the vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out of this land, and return unto the land of thy, of thy kindred. And, uh, and Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Is there yet any portion or any inheritance? For us in our father's land, in our father's house, are we not are we not are we not counted of him strangers for he, for he had sold us and had quite devoured also our money? For all the riches which God had taken from our father, that is ours, that is our children's now then, uh, whoever uh, whatsoever God had said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives upon camels, and he carried away all the, his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten, the cattle of his getting, and which he had gotten, the Pandaram, Pandanaram, for to go to his father's house in the land of the Canaan. And Laban went to share uh, his sheep, and, and Laban went to share his sheep, and uh, and Rachel had stolen the images that were his father's, and Jacob stole away on a well to live in the Syrian, in that he took, and that he told him that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and rose up, and passed over the river, and set his face towards the uh, Mount Gired, Gired, and it was, and it was told that it was. 
Good Laban on the third day that uh, Jacob was fled and he took the, his, his bedroom with him and pursued after and pursued after him seven days journey and it overtook him in a Mount Gilead. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that that thou art, that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob, and now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount, and Laban with his bedroom pitched in the mount of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, Which thou hast done, which what thou hast done, thou hast stolen away uh, on a west to me. And uh, carried my daughters as captive, taken with a sword. Death, wherefore, will thou flee away secrets and steal away from me? And it's not for hours. And it's not uh, and stole away from me. And we and we not did not tell me that I might have sent thee. Away from away with might and uh, with songs, with tablets and with help, and has not suffered to, to kiss my sons and daughters, and that thou thou done foolishly in so doing. It is in power of my hands to do your heart, but the God of your father spake unto me yesternight saying, Take thou heed uh, that, that thou speak not uh, to Jacob, either good or bad. Sorry, excuse me. And now thou, not, thou that wouldest need begun, because thou saw longest after thy father's house, Yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, uh, Because I was afraid, for I said, Venture, uh, thou wouldest take uh, by force thy daughters from me. But whosoever that findeth thy gods, let him not leave. Therefore our bedroom, therefore our bedroom, descend thou what is thine with me. And, um, And take it to be, for Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. And Laban went to the, into Jacob's tent and in, into Leah's tent and into the two maid servants' tent, but he found them not. That went he that went he out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tent, but found them not. And he said to her father, Let it not displease my love that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of women is upon me, and he said, but found not the images. And Jacob was right, and child was and child with Laban, and Jacob answered and said to Laban, Where is my trespass? What is my sin? And that thou has so hotly pursued after me. And uh, uh, whereas thou hast said all my stuff, what thou hast found of all that household stuff, see it here before my next bedroom and my bed and my bedroom that they may judge that they may judge betwixt us both. These twenty years of uh, I being with thee, thy house, thy 
thy eels and thy she goats have not cast their young, and thy rams of thy flocks have not have I not eaten. That which uh, was torn of the beasts was torn of beasts. <laughs> that's my name. No, that's not my name. Never mind. I brought not unto thee, I bear the loss of it, and uh, of my house had this thou require it, uh, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus was I was in the day of the dross consumed me, and the uh, consumed me, and the uh, bear the loss of it. Of my hands, the this thou require it, whether stolen by hard or stolen by uh, night, whether stolen by day or stolen by night, thus I was in the day the, that the drought consumed me, and the frost nights, and the sleep departed my eyes. Now therefore come down, let us make covenant, and I and I and I, and I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones and they and they stone and they took stones and made a heap, and made an heap, and they did not eat there upon the heap. Uh, and Laban called it Jega uh, Doctor. But Jacob called it Galid. And Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and Doug and thee this day. Between me and thee this day. Therefore, was the name of it called Ga Galid. And Mispa, uh, for he said, The Lord watch me, watch between me and uh, and thee uh, when we are absent from one another. If thou afflict my, if thou afflict my daughters, or if thou take other wives beside my daughters, no man is with us. See God is witness between me and you. Between me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, uh, And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, uh, which I have cast between me and thee. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, uh, that I will not pass over the heap to thee, and thou shalt not pass over the heap and pillar unto me for him. Uh, the God of Abraham and the God of Nahum and the God of their father judge betwixt us. And Jacob swore by the fear of his father's life, for his father Isaac. And uh, then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did, and they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And where and early in the morning, Reban rose up and kissed his sons and daughters and blessed them and Laban departed and returned unto his place and Jacob uh, 22, 32 and Jacob uh, went on his way and the angels of God met him and when Jacob saw him saw them he, he said that's that's the host that is God's host and he called the name of that place Mahana Mah Mah Mahania Mahanaim, Mahanaim, and Jacob uh, sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom, and the command and they commanded and they commanded. Uh, No. 
Who am I, bro? The commander is saying, Thus shall ye speak unto the Lord Esau. Thy servant said unto, said thus, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. And I have a son and I said, flocks and man servants and women servants. And I have, and I have sent to thy, to tell thy Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to my bro to thy brother um, Esau, and also he commenced to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks and head, and camels into two bands, and said, If Esau come to uh, the one company and smith it, and the other company which is left, shall I escape? And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, uh, God of Isaac, father of father Isaac, and uh, O God of um, the the Lord which the Lord which said, which says unto me, return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal with with and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the messes and of all the truths which thou hast showed unto the servants for which my staff passed over the children. And now I am become and I and now I, I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee, for from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him. Lest he will come and smite me and my mothers with my children, and thou said, I will surely do that. I will surely do thee good, and I make me sin on the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he logged uh, there the same night and took, and took, and took of that which came to his hand a present for Noah his brother two hundred she goats and twenty he goats and two hundred ewes. And twenty rams, thirty milch camels with their forty folk, with their coats and uh, forty forty kind, and ten uh, bulls, and twenty she asses, and ten foals. And he all delivered them into the hands of his servants, every drove uh, by themselves. And he uh, said unto his servant, Pass over before me, and put a space between the drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, and uh, saying, uh, When Esau my brother meeted thee and accessed thee, who wert, whose art thou, whose and whiter goes thou, and whose are these, whose are these before thy thee? Then shall they say, They be uh, thy servants, Jacob, it is uh, present sent unto the Lord Esau, and Behold, or oh, also he is uh, behind us. And also commandment, uh, he be second and the third and also follow Job's, saying in his manner, shall ye speak unto Esau, and when ye find him. And say, moreover, uh, behold, thy servant Jacob is, be is behind us, for he said, I would appease him. For he said, I will appease him, and I will appease him with, pre with presents that go before me, and afterward I will see his face. Peradventure will he accept of me. So went uh, the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company, and he rose up that night and looked and took his two wives and his two women servants and Eleven sons and passed over for Jack Jibok. And he took them and say and sent them over the brook and say and sent over 
and he had. And Jacob was left alone, and he wrestled uh, a man with him unto the, unto the breaking of the day. And he saw that prevailed not against him, that he touched the whole of his thigh, and the whole of Jacob's thigh, and out of joint, and was out of joint as he wrestled with him. He wrestled with him, and uh, and he said, "Let me go for the bay breaket." And he said, "I will not let you go, except by uh, bless me. I will not let you go unless you bless me." That's God. Yeah. And he said unto him, "What is thy name?" And he said, "Jacob." And he said, uh, "Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince thou power with God and with men." And has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, uh, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it doubt thy don't doesn't ask about ask for my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called uh, the name of the place Pinya, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Pinyo, the sun arose, the sun rose upon him, and he hustled, and he halted uh, upon his star. Therefore, the children of Israel eat not uh, of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the tie, upon unto this day, because he touched the hollow of his Jacob's tie, and in the sinew that shrank. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, the saw uh, came and uh, with the with four hundred men, and he divided the and the, he divided the children into the and unto Rachel and unto the two handsmaid, and he pulled the handsmaid and the uh, children foremost, and Lee and uh, and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over and over them, bowed himself to the seven ground, and until he came close to his brother, and he saw ran to meet him and embraced and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the old man and children and said, Who are those with thee? And uh, he said, uh, The children which God has graciously given thy servant. Then handsmaid come, and then handsmaid came near then as we came near the um their children came near they and their children and they bowed themselves and Lee uh, also uh and Lee also said uh What meanest thou uh, by all those those which I met and did, and he said they are to find grace in the sight of the Lord and he also said I have enough I, my brother keep thou hast unto thyself and Jacob said uh, Nay I pray thee if now I have found grace in this, in thy sight thou I found grace in thy sight, and then uh, receive my presence at my heart, at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face, as though I have seen the face of the, of God, and thou wast is with me, and. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God had dealt graciously with me, and God, and because I have enough, and he urged me, and he took it, and he took it. 
And he said, let us take our journey and let us go. And I will go before thee and I will. And he, will un- and he said unto him, my Lord knoweth that the children are tender and the flocks and heads with young are with me. And if men should override or drive them one day, all the flocks will die. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servants, and I will lead on softly, according as the cast to that goeth before me and the children be able to endure until I come unto my Lord unto Seer. And Esau said, uh, let me now and Esau said, uh, let me now uh, Esau, Esau said, let me now have let me some of the f- let me <laughs> Let me some of the folk that that are with me. Let me have some of the folk that are with me. I said, who what needed it? Let me find grace in thy sight of the Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Sarah. And Jacob journeyed to Sukkot and brought and built him a house and made built for his castles. And therefore the name of the place is called Sukkot. And, and Jacob called, and Jacob came to Salem, and Jacob came to Salem, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan. Uh, when the when he came from Padam Ram, and pitched his tent before the city, and he bought a parcel of a field where he had, where he had. Uh, spread his tent and uh, the king of the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for an hundred piece of money. And he erected there an altar and called it El Elhu Israel. And Dina, the daughter of uh, Leah, which the daughter of Leah, which bare unto Jacob went out to see the daughter of the land and when shaker the son of him or the, the high vite, prince of the country saw her he took her and lay her with and lay with her and defiled her and he so lived and he so cleaved unto Dinah the daughter of jacob and he loved the damsel and spared kindly unto the damsel, and Shechem spake unto his father's hammer, saying, uh, give, them the, give them this house, damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had the five Danas, his, Dana, his daughter, and now his sons were with his cast to, with his cast to in the field, and Jacob held, held his peace until they were come. And Hannah, the father of Shechem, uh, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field, and they were they heard it. And the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had brought he had wrought folly in Israel in line with Jacob's daughter which sin ought not to be done. I have more communed with them, saying, The soul of my soul, Shechem, longeth for your daughter. Uh, I will pray you give her him to wife. And making marriages with us and give your daughters unto us and take our daughters unto you and ye shall dwell with us and the land shall be before you and dwell and trade ye therein and got and get possessions therein and shake him seed unto our father and unto our bedroom
Let me go find grace in your eyes and what ye shall say unto me, I will give and me never so much dowry and gifts and I will give account and I'll give according as he says to me and but the damn self to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem, my hammer, with father deceitfully and said, Because And said, because uh, he had the five Dana, their sister, they, and they said unto them, they said unto them, uh, we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, that were uh, reproached unto us. Mm. But in this will we consent unto you, ye, but as we be, that every male of you be circumcised, then we will give our daughter unto you, and we will take your daughter to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us, be circumcised, then we will take our daughter, and we will be gone. And the words and their words were pleased Hamo and Shechem, Hamo's son, and the young man deferred not to do the thing, but he had the light in Jacob's daughter, and he was more honored than all the house of his father. And Hamo and Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, This men are peaceable with us, therefore let them let them dwell in the land and trade therein for the land, behold, us, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters for to their wives, to us wives, and uh, to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. And uh, on only hearing will the men consent unto us, dwell with us, to be one people, if male among us be circumcised, as they are circumcised, shall not their castle and their substance and every beast be ours. Only let us consent unto them and give us and, and let them dwell with us. And they will dwell with us. And unto Hamon, unto Shechem, and his hacking, all that were went out of the uh, out gates of his city, uh, and every male was circumcised, and that went out of the city out of the gate of the city and and it came to pass on the third day when they were uh, saw the two of the, of the sons of Jacob Simeon Levi Dina Bedouin took each man his sword, his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males, and they slew uh, Hermon and Shechem, his son with the edge of the sword, and took dinner. And took dinner out of Shechem's house, and went out, and the sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city, because they had the fire their sister, they took their sheep and and their oxen and their asses, and which and which was in the city, and they and that which was in the field, and all their wealth and all their little ones and all their wives and all their captive, and even spoiled that was in the house. And spoiled even that that was in, and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me sting uh, among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites, among the Perizzites, and among I am being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, and my I and my house, and they say, Should he deal our sister as sweet? And had lot. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go to Bethel, and dwell, and dwell there, and make there an altar uh, of God. 
that are naked and utter unto God, that appeared unto thee which thou fledest from the face of Esau, thy brother, that Jacob said unto his household and to all that were uh, to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that were among you, be clean and uh, and be clean and change your garments, and let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make thee an altar of God, who answered me in the day of distress and was with me in the day which I went. And they gave Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands, and all the earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed on, and all the terror of God was upon the cities and that were round about them, and they did not pursue uh, after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to lose and which which is in the uh, which is in the no came to lose which is in the land of Canaan that is better and he and all the people were with him and he built an there an altar and called the place El Beltel. And called the place El Betel and uh, because God, because there God appeared unto him before he flew, before he fled from the face of his brother. Uh, but Beth, but Deborah, Rebecca's nurse died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and uh, the name of it was called Alon Batchuch. Alon Batchuch. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padam Aram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called, thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply a nation, and a company of nations shall be of thee. And kingdom shall come out of thy lions, and the land to which I give Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it to, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went from him in the place he talked with him. And God set up a pillar in the place where uh, he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and he poured the drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake uh, with him Bethel, Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was, and there was but a little way to Ephra, and Rachel traveled, traveled, sorry, and she had hard labor and it came to pass when she was in the hard labor that she uh that the midwife said unto her uh, fear not thou shalt have uh this son also and it came to pass as I, as her soul was in the pattern for she died uh that she called his name benoni his father's but he fa but his father called him uh, but his father called him Benjamin, and Beth and Rachel died, and uh, and Rachel died, and was buried in the way of Itra, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob sets a, a pillar. Like this is the first time I'm hearing Bethlehem in the Bible. From okay, so literally a case study right now. The first time Bethlehem was pronounced in the Bible is in Genesis thirty-five verse uh, 18 that's the first time um, Bethlehem was pronounced was called was mentioned in the Bible so yeah I'm starting to use my voice a little bit so. verse 19 verse 19 not 18 sorry but and Jacob um, set up a pillar upon her grave that is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day 
and Israel joined in and spread his tent beyond the tour of uh, Eda. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with uh, um, Bilba, his father's concubine, and Israel had it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of uh, Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and uh, Zebulun, and uh, the sons of Re uh, Rachel, Joseph, Benjamin, and the sons of Bia, Rachel, handmaid, Rachel's handmaid, uh, Dan, and, ne and Naphtali, and the sons of Zippa, Leah's handmaid, Gaia, and uh, Asher. They are the sons of Jacob, which uh, were born to him in Pan Aram. In Pedan Aram. Pedan Aram. And Jacob came unto Isaac, his father, unto Mary, unto the city of Eba, which is Hebron, which where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And uh, Isaac gave up the ghost and died. Sorry, I'm just stressed as well. And Isaac gave up the ghost and died and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days, and his son Esau and Jacob buried him. Now these are the generation of Esau, who is Adam. Um, Esau took his wives of uh, the daughters of Canaan, Ada, the daughters of Elon, the, Hitz, the Hittite, the Hittite, and uh, Aholibama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zebion, the Hivite. The he, the Hivite and Bashimate, Ishmael's daughter, sister of uh, Nebajot, and Ada bear to Esau Eliphaz and Besha and Bashimat uh, bear Rebu. And uh, Ahubi Bama, Ber, Jaush, and Jaum, and Korah, these are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took uh, his wives and sons and daughters and the person of the house and his castle and all his beasts and all his substance, which he had in his land of Canaan, and went into the country from face of, of his brother Jacob. For their riches were many more for their riches were more than just were more than just where the uh, mites dwell together together and the land wherein there were strangers could not bear because of their cattle. Thus dwell Esau in Mount so uh, Esau is Edom, and their generation of Esau, the, the father of Edomites and in the Mount Seo. Their names of uh, they are, these are the names of Esau's son, Eliphi, the son of um, Ada, the wife of Esau, Rhea, the son of Bashemite, the wife of Esau, and the son of um, Eliphaz, the, uh, the Wetemen, um, Omar, Zepha, uh, Zephu, and Geta, and Kenaz. Antina was concubine to Eliphaz. Esau's son, and she bare uh, Eliphaz, Amak, they were the sons of Ada's son, Ada, Esau's wife, and they, and these are the sons of Euro, um, um, Nahat, and Zerah, Shema, and Misha, and Miza, these were the sons of Bashimat, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of uh, Aholibama, Aholibama, <laughs> the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zebion, Esau's wife, and she bare, and she bare to Esau, Jewish, and Jalem, and Korah. These were dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Temas, Duke Teman, Duke uh, Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke. Kenaz, Duke Kura, Duke Gatam, Duke Amalek, these are the dukes that came of uh, Eliphaz and the land of Edom. These were the sons of Edom. And these are the sons of Ru, uh, Esau's son, Duke Neha, Duke Zerah, Duke Shema, Duke Miza, 
These are the Jews that came out of Esau in the land of Edom. These are the sons of uh, Bar Esau's wife. And these are the sons of uh, Aholimab, Esau's wife, uh, Duke Jesu, Duke Juiz, Duke Jews, huh? Duke Jalam, Duke Gora, and these were the sons, these are the Dukes that come, these are the Dukes that came of uh, Abolima, the daughter of Anna, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are the, their Dukes, these are the sons of their soul, the, these are the sons of their cell, the um, Gorites. Um, who in her be um, her, in her be tight, you know. who inhabited the land and Lutan and Shuban and, and Zibion and Nana and uh, James these Sean and Z Aza and this hand these are the Jews of Horites, children of Seah in the land of Edom. And the children of Lotan were Hot and Herman, and Lotan's sister with, was Tima. And the children of Shuba were uh, this, Evan, and uh, Meta, and Eba, and Shimo, and Onan. And these are the children of Zibion, the, those Aja, and, uh, and of Zibo, those Eb. These are the children of Zibo. So, And these are the, no, these are children of Zebion, both Aja and Anna. This was the that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness, and the and he fell the assets, and he fell the assets to, of Zebion his father. And children of of Anna were these Tishon and Abolima and daughter of Anna. And these are the children of Desha and Dema, uh, um, Eshabam and Eutran and El. And Cheran. These are the children of Ezra. Um, Beoham and Zeva and Aka. These are the children of Dishan, which are also Naran. And these are the children of, these are the dukes that came out of Horites. Duke Lutan, Duke Shoba, Duke Zibion, Duke Anna, and Duke Shiva, Duke Ze Eza, Duke uh, Disha. These are the dukes that came out of Roots, Hori. That came out of Uri among these dukes in the land of the seal. And these are the kings that were um, and these are the kings that I mean, I think you have to worry about it. And these are the kings that wait, hold on. And they, these are the government, these are the and these are the king that ran. In the land of Edom, that were behind any king over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Beod, uh, resigned, resigned in Buen, resigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. And Bela died, and Joba, uh, the son of Zera, of Bozra reigned in his stead, and Joab died, and Uram and Hosram of the land of Timah reigned in his stead, and Yoram died, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, resigned in his stead, and the name of the city was called Havit. And Havit and Havad uh, died, and Samla of Masreka reigned in his stead, and Samla died and sold the of um, real gold by the river of Rehan in his stead, and so and so died and Bahanan, the son of Akbor, in his stead, and Bahan, the son the the son of Akbar, the son of Akbar died and Haba in his stead, and the name of the city was called Paul. And the wife's name was uh, Mea Tabor, the daughter of Matrub, and the daughter of Mizahab. 
And these are the names of dukes that came from Esau, according to the families after their places by their names, Duke Timna, uh, Duke uh, Ava, Duke uh, J. Bed, Duke J. Ted, Duke Aholiba, uh, Duke Hera, Duke, uh, Duke, uh, Pinon, Duke Kenan, Duke Kaza, Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke, uh, Mikza, Duke, uh, Makdia, Duke Aram, these are the Dukes of Edom. According to their habitation, the land of the possession, of their possession, he is, he saw the father of Edom's, Edomites. And Jacob dwelt in the land of wherein his father was of wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. These are the oh, come on. These are the generations of Jacob, Joseph being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren, and uh, the lad was with his sons of Bilha. Mm. So Bilha. And with the sons of Zilpa and he, his father's wives, and Joseph brought unto his father their evil reports. Now Israel loved Jacob, loved Joseph more than all the, all his children, because he uh, he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all the brethren. They hated him and could not speak peacefully unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream of, uh, and he told his brethren that all that hated him yet the more. He told them the dream, and the dream made them hate him even more. And they hated, yeah. And um, and he said unto them, Hey, I pray, I pray you this dream which I have dreamt. For behold, we were behind sheaves in the fleet, and I lo, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made, and made obeisance to the to my sheaf, and his brethren said to him. Say to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us, or thou, thou, or thou, or shall thou have dominion over us? And they hated him um, the yet more as he dreamed of all these things, and for his words.
And he dreamed yet another dream and told his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made of, of sense to me. And he said to his father and to his brethren, and to his father rebuked, their, rebuked him and said, and, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamt? And uh, shall I and my mother, shall I and thy mother and thy brethren uh, indeed come to bow ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel uh, said unto Joseph, uh, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether I be well with thy brethren. And well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him all the veil of Abram, and he called, and he came to Shechem. And the certain man, and the certain man found, and the certain man found, Well, I can barely see. I'm a certain man. Where am I, boo? And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my bedroom. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feel their flocks, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They departed hence, for I heard. Then say, Let us go to Dotham. And Joseph went after his bedroom and found them in Dotham. And they saw him afar off. And even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said to one another, One another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him. And him and cast him into some pit, and will say, Some evil beasts have devoured him. And we shall just uh, see what will become of his dreams. Hmm. And Reuben said, I heard it, and, and he delivered him out of the hands and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into his pit, and, and that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might read himself out, read out their hands to deliver him to him. To his father again, and it came to pass when Joseph was come unto to what was come unto his bedroom, uh, that they stripped Joseph uh, out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into, cast him into uh, a pit, and the pit was empty; there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, the company Ishmaelites came from Galilee, uh, which their camels brought spicely and balm and a mile, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit if, what profit it is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us seal him, let us sell him to Ishmaelite, and let not hand be upon him, for he is our brother, and our flesh, and his brethren were content. Then they passed by Midianite came, came merchant men, and they drew and lifted up uh, Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelite. For twenty pieces of silver, said. And they brought Joseph into Egypt, and Reuben returned into the pit. And behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes, and 
He returned unto his bedroom and said, The child is not where whether shall I go? And they took Joseph coat and killed the kid of the of the goat and dipped the goat in the blood. And they see the, the coat of many and they send the coat of many colors and they brought it to the father and said, They have we went, they this have we found now that's no now whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it and said, It's my son's coat, and evil beasts have devoured him. Joseph is without doubt a rest in a rent in pieces. And Jacob rents, uh, and Jacob rents, and Jacob rents his clothes and puts a cloth upon his uh, lions, upon his lions, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his mothers, all his daughters, rose up to comfort to comfort him but he refused to be comforted and he said for i will go down into the grave unto my son money thus his father wept for him and the midianites sold him unto unto into egypt unto potiphar an officer of pharaoh of pharaohs and captain of the guard Literally five hours ago, I was talking about how God created the heaven and earth, and now we're in uh, Joseph and his coat of many colors. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... And the median and then. 38. And it came to pass at the at that time that Judah went down from his bedroom and turned into a certain Adolamite whose name was Hira. And, Ju and Judah saw their daughter of a certain Canaanite, Canaanite whose name was Shua, and he took her and went into her and, and went in front to her. And she conceived and bare a son, and he called him Ah. That's E R. Ah, yeah. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she called him Onan. Onan. Bro, this guy's weird. They were conceiving, bro. And she, and she yet again conceived and bare another son, and called him Sheila. And he, and he was at Shebi. Shezib, Shezib, Shezib. If you're reading the Bible, I promise you will learn a lot of new words. Shebib, where she bear him. And Judah took a wife uh, for Ah, uh, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ah, uh, first, Judah's firstborn, who's uh, wicked in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, Go into unto uh go in unto my brother's wife and marry her and raise up seed to my brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his as and it came to pass when and it came to pass when he went in unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground, lest thou he should give seed to his brother. Uh, uh, that should he give seed to his brother. Mm -hmm. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter in law, Roman. Remain a widow at that father's house till Shela, my son, be grown, for he said, lest peradventure he die also. Lest peradventure he die also. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, as his brethren did, and Tamar went and dwelt dwell, in her father's house, and in the process of time, the daughter of Shuan, Judah's wife, died, and Judah was, confront, was comforted and went unto his, uh, unto his sheep sharers to Timna, to Timnath, uh, he, he and his friend Hira, the Abdu, the Abu Lamites. And it was told Tama, saying, Behold, thy father in law goeth up to get up to die. The father in law went up to die to share his sheep. And she put her widow's garment off from her and covered her with a veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place, which is by the way to time to Timnath, for she saw that Sheila was grown and she was not given unto him to be what to wife. When uh, when Judah saw her, he thought her to be an harlot because she had covered her face and she turned the way she turned her to her by the way. And she go and she said, Go to, I pray thee, let me come in unto thee, let for 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 he knew not that, you know, for he knew not that she was his daughter in law. And she said, When will thou give me and thou that thou mayest come in unto me? And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock, and I and she said, Will thou give me a plea? Would thou give me a pledge till thou send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give you? Shall I give thee? And she said, um, Thy signet and thy bracelet and the and thy half and thy staff is in the is in thy hand. And he gave it to her and in and came in unto her and she conceived by him. And then he asked the man of that place, saying, Where is the harlot that was openly that was openly by the wayside? And they said there, there was no harlot in this place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the man of the place that there was no harlot in this place. And they said, let her take it to her, and lest we be ashamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and, uh, and thou had not found her, and it came to pass after three months. It was Judah, it was to Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, had played the harlot, and also, and also, behold, she is with Thou wore them, and Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be born. And uh, when she was when she was brought forth, she sent to her father in law, saying, By the man who's who's there, who's this uh, and I am and I am with child, am, am I with child? And she said, This and I pray thee, whose are uh, these the signet and the bracelet and the staff. And Judah acknowledged them and said, um, she had been more righteous than I am, than I and because I gave her not to Shela, my son, and he knew her not again anymore. And it came to pass in the time of her travel that behold, twins were in her womb, and it came to pass she travelled that the one put out his hand and midwife took out uh, and took and bound upon his hand and a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And it came to pass as he drew back in his hands, back his hands, that behold, his brother came out and she said, How that how thou broken forth this bridge upon the therefore his name was called Faris. And afterwards came out his brother that 
He had scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zerah. 39, chapter 39, Genesis chapter 39. And Joseph was brought up, was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him out of the Ishmaelite, brought him on to the house of the Ishmaelite. Brought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down, tighter, and the Lord. And the, and the Lord was with Pharaoh and was with Joseph and was prosperous man. And he was in the house of the master of the Egyptian and his master saw that the Lord was with him and the Lord made all the, all the, all he did to prosper in his hand. And, and Joseph found grace in his sight and served him and he did more was here over uh, his house and all he did he put in his hand and it came to pass from the time that he had made overseer in his house and all the and all that he did he had that the lord blessed that the lord blessed the egyptian's house for joseph's sake and and the blessing of the lord was upon that he had in his house and in the field After he left uh, all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not what he had, save the bed, the bread which he did not eat, which he did eat, and Joseph was a good, was a godly, was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things, his master's wife cast her eye upon Joseph, and he said, "Lie with me," and she said, "Lie with me." But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master voted not what is with me in his house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in his house than I. Neither had I kept anything back from kept anything back from me, but kept anything back from me, but unto his master's wife. Uh, but got anything back from Get anything back from me, but the um, because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass after she spoke to Joseph day by day, and he beckoned not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass after about this time that Joseph, about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there with him. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he and he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, then that she called unto the men of us and spoke unto them, saying she had brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us and he came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she laid up his garments by her until the Lord came home. Until the Lord came home. And she spake unto him according to this word, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto me came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass as he lifted his voice, and as she lifted it, as I lifted my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out.
And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which he spoke unto him, saying, After this manner did the, the, the thy servant do to me, and his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him in the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound and was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And, and the keeper of the prisoner committed Joseph of committed to Joseph's hand of all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison took looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him and which he was which he did the Lord made it to Verse 40. And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended the Lord, uh, uh, the Lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was, and Pharaoh was wrought. And Pharaoh was wrought against two of his officers against. The chief against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers, and he put them in wards in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. And the captain of the guard charged uh, Joseph with them, and he served them, and they continued the season in uh, in ward. And they dreamed the dream both of them, each each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream the butler and the baker of, of the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh, Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of the Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? And I said unto him, We have, we have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpret interpreter of it and joseph said unto them do not interpretations belong to god tell me them i pray you and the chief butler told, told his dream to joseph and said to him in my dream behold the vine was before me and in the vine were three branches and it was all though it budded and a blossom was short forth and clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes and pharaoh's cup was in the hand and it took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and I gave the cup and I and I gave the cup Pharaoh's to Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation interpretation of it, the three branches are the three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy hand head and restore thee unto thy place and shall deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand. And the former manner when thou wast his butler, but think of me when it shall be well with thee and show kindness. I pray thee unto me and make mention of me unto Pharaoh and bring me out of his house. For indeed I was stolen away of the Lord of the Hebrews, and here also have I done nothing. And here also have I done nothing that they should put me into his dungeon. The Bible is cool, though. Yeah? When the chief baker uh, saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, 
I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my hand, on my head, and if and in the uppermost basket, three and in the uppermost basket, there was all manner of big meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof: of the three baskets are the are three days, yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from the uh, from of thee and shall hang thee on a tree and the bed shall eat thy flesh from there and it came to pass on the first day which which was pharaoh's birthday that he made a feast unto all his servants and he lifted up uh, the head of the chief butler and the chief baker among his servants and he restored the chief butler unto his battleship butlership again and he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand, and he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but begat him. And it's 41. And it came to pass at the end of full two years that Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by the river, and behold, there came up out of the river seven well favored knee kind and uh, fat sooth. Fat, fat fleshed, and uh, fed, and they fed in a uh, meadow. And behold, seven other kind came up at, after them, and of the from the river, of ill favored and lean fleshed, and stood up, and stood by the other kind upon the brink of the river. And all you favored and lean flesh kind did eat up, did eat up seven fewer favored and fat kind, so fair a week. And he slept and dreamed the second time, and behold, seven years of corn, of corn came, up, came upon one stalk and rank and good, and behold, the seven years and blasted with east wind sprung after them. And the seventh time, and the seventeen years, the fourth, the seven, the fourth, the seven rack and full years. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled, and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them his dream, but they were none able to interpret unto Pharaoh. Then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my faults this day. Pharaoh was wrought with his servants and put me in word in the captain of the guard's house, both me and the chief baker. And we dreamt the dream in one night, and I and he, we dreamt each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was there with us a young man, an Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard, and we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream did he interpret. And it came to pass as he interpreted to us, so it was me. Me was me he restored unto my office, and him did he hang, and him he hanged. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and hastily out of the dungeon and, and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamt a dream, and there is none that can interpret my dream. And I have heard of thee that thou canst understand the dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river, and behold, there came Behold, they came up out of the river, seven kind, fat-fleshed and well-favored, and they fed in the middle. And behold, seven other kind came up after them, poor and very ill-fleshed and lean-fleshed, such as I have never saw in the land of Egypt for badness. And the lean and the ill-favored kind did eat of the first seven fat kind, and when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that 
they have eaten them, but they were still ill-favored as at the beginning. So I awoke. And I saw in the dream, and behold, seven ears came in one stock, full and good. And behold, seven ears withered, thin, and blasted with the east wind, sprung up after them, and the ears devoured the seven good ears. And I told him into the magician. And I told this unto the magicians, but they were not able to interpret my dream, declared to me. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dream of the uh, the dream of Pharaoh is one God had showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good kind are seven years, and the seven good years are seven years. The dream is one. And the seventeen and ill favored kind that came upon thine are seven years, and the seven empty years blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. Famine. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh, what God is about to do. He showed unto Pharaoh, Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout of the land of Egypt, and there shall rise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten of the land of Egypt, and famine shall continue to shall consume the land. And the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of of that fame and following, for it shall be very grievous. And for that dream was doubled, was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now therefore let Pharaoh look out a man's discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the Seven plenteous years. And let him gather all the food of the good of those good years that come, and lay it upon the corn and under the hand of Pharaoh, and let them keep food in the cities. And that food shall be stored to the land uh, against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. And the thing was good in the eye of Pharaoh and in the eye of his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man whose, whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, uh, and Pharaoh said unto uh, Joseph, For as much as God had showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as though as Thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it onto Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made, the, uh, he made him to ride in the second chariot, because which he had. And they cried before him, bowed the knee, and made him ruler of all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, and Pharaoh, and without thee no man lift up his hand or foot in the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnap Pan. And he gave him to wife Asemach, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. And Joseph went over all the land of Egypt. And Joseph was thirty years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handfuls. And he gathered up all the food of the seven years which were in the land of Egypt, and laid up the food in the cities. The food of the field, which was around every city, laid up by the same, laid up, laid he up in the same. And just and Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea, very much until he he left numbering, for it was without number.
And unto Joseph were born two sons, therefore the, the years of famine came, which Asenat, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of one, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for God said he had made me forget all my tool and all my father's house, and the name of the second and the name of the second called he Ephraim, for God had called me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction, and the seven years of plenteous plenteousness that was in the land of Egypt were ended. And the seven years of, of death began to come according to the according as Joseph had said, and death was in all land, but in all the land of Egypt there was bread. And when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptians, Go unto Joseph, what he said unto you, do. And famine was over the earth, face of the earth. And Joseph opened all the storehouses and said unto Egyptians, And the famine waxed so in the land of Egypt. And all countries came to Egypt, came into Egypt to Joseph to, for to buy corn. Because the famine was so sore in all lands. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look upon one another? And he said, Because behold, I have heard that there is corn in the, in the Egypt. In Egypt, get you down there and buy us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph said, and Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob, went not with his brethren, for he said, Lest peradventure mischief before him. And the son of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he, and he it was that sold all to the people over the lands. And Joseph's brethren, and Joseph's brethren came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the earth. Interesting. And Joseph said to saw and Joseph saw his brethren and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them and spake roughly unto them, and he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamt of them, and he said, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said unto him, Now, my Lord, but to buy food are the servants come. We are all men's son, we are true men, thy servants are not spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said, And, this, and they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren. The sons of one man in thy land and in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest is this is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That it is that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby he shall not be proved by the life of Pharaoh, ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come. Here, that's Haida. Send one of you and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your word may be proven, whether there be any truth in you or else by, by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together in the, into the world three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, These do and leave, for I fear God. If I if ye be true men, let one of your bedroom be bound in the house of the prison. Go ye, carry corn of the famine of the houses. But bring your youngest brother unto me, so shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said to one another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spark I unto you, saying, Do not sin against this child. 
and ye would not hear, therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simon, and bowed him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and restore every man's money into the sack, and to, and to give them provision for the way, and thus did he do unto them. And they laid their asses with the corn and the butter dance, and once the once, and as one of them looked, opened his sack to give his axe province into the inn, he espied his money, for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his bedroom, My money is restored, and lo, it is not even, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart filled them, and and they were afraid, saying to one another, What is that God had done unto us? And they came unto Jacob, their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told them that they fell unto them, saying, The man who is the Lord of who is the land, who Lord of the land, spake roughly to us, and took us for the spice of the country. Took off took us for spice for the country, of the country. And as we said unto him, We are true men, we are no spice. We built twelve bedrooms, son of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, and the, man the Lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your bedrooms here with me, and take food up for the family of your household, and be gone. And bring your youngest brother unto me, then shall I know ye are no spies, but ye are true men. So I will deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man bundles of, of money was in the sack. And when the boats, and, and when boats their fa they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And, jo and Jacob, their father, said unto them, me have ye be bereaved of my children, Joseph is Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and ye will take Benjamin away, all these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My, my son shall not go down there with you, for his blood, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If me shift before him again by any way in which he ye go, then shall ye bring him bring him bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. And the farmer was sore in the land, and it came to pass when they had eaten up And it came to pass when they have eaten. Oh my goodness, I've lost again. Oh, here we go. And Judah spoke unto them, saying, The man did so solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. If thou wilt not send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. But if thou wilt not send him, we will go not down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me, as to tell the man well, 
whether he had yet a brother. And they say, the man asked us straightly of our state and, as, and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye an other brother? And he told him according to the tenor of according to the tenor of these words. saying, would we certainly know that he would say, bring your brother down? And uh, Judah said unto, his, his, or said unto Israel, his father, send the lad with me and we will rise and go, that we may live and not die, both we and thou and also our little ones. And I will surely for him, and I will be surely for him, of my hand shall thou require him if I bring him unto not unto thee and set him before thee. Let then let me bear the blame forever. For except we had had lingered, surely now we had returned this second time. And their father Israel said unto them, If if it must be so now. Do the stick of the best fruit in the land of the vessels and carry down of the man a present, a little bam and a little honey, spices, and mere or not, and amulets. And take double money in your hand, and the money that was brought again in the mouth of the sack, carry it again in your hands, but eventually it was an oversight. Take also your brother and arise, go again unto the man. And God Almighty give you mercy before him, that he may send away your other brother. And Benjamin, if he be bereaved of my children, I bereaved. And the man took uh, that present, and they took uh, double money in their land. And Benjamin and rose up and went down to Egypt and stood before Joseph. And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of the house, Bring this man home and slay and, and make ready, for this man shall dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph bade, and the man brought the man into and the man brought the man into Joseph's house, and the men were afraid because they were brought into Joseph's house, and they said, Because of the money that was returned to our sack, at the first time as we brought as we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us and fall upon us, and take us for bondmen and our asses. And they came near to stewards of Joseph's house, and they communed with him at the door of the house, and said, O oh, sir, we indeed down at the first time to, to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to inn, and that we opened our sacks, and behold, every man's money was in the sack, of, or was in the mouth of the sack, our money in full weight, and we had brought it again in our land, in our hand. And other and other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot put, we cannot sell who put our money in our sack. And he came, and he came. Peace be to you. Fear not, your God and the God of your father had given you treasures in your sacks. I had your money, and he brought him out unto them, and the man brought the men into Joseph's house and gave them water, and they washed their feet, and he gave them as his provender. And the maid really the present against Joseph came at noon, for they heard that they should eat bread there, and when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed their sin and bow themselves to he to it. And he asked them of their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of your is your father well, the old man is your father well, the old man of whom he spoke, is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy servant our father is in good health, he is yet alive, and they bowed down their heads and made obeisance. obeisance. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and, and said, is, your, is this your younger brother of whom he spake unto me? And he said, God be gracious unto thee, my son.
And Joseph made haste for his bowels, for his bowels, the yen upon his brother, and sought where, where to weep. And he entered into his chamber and wept there, and he washed his face and went out and reframed himself and said, Set on bread, and they said, The set on for, for him of by himself, and for them by themselves, and for Egyptians which eat with him by themselves. Because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. And they sat before him the firstborn according to the birthright, and the youngest according to the youth, and the men marveled one at another. And he took and sent messes unto them before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs, and they drank and were merry with them. And he commanded the forty-four, and he commanded the stewards of the house, saying, Full of the men sacks with food as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack mount, sack mount, and put my cup and the silver the silver cup in the sack mount of the youngest, and his corn money, and, the, and he did according to the words of that Joseph, Joseph has spoken, have spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, the day and their ashes, and when they were gone out of the city, and not yet far off, Joseph said unto his steward, Follow after the men, and when the and when thou dost overtake them, say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded good evil for good? Is it this in which my Lord drinketh, and whereby in Indeed, he divined it, ye have done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spake unto them these same words. And they said unto him, Wherefore say the, my Lord these words? God forbid that, that thy servant should do according to these things. Behold, the money which we found in, that, in, that, in our sack mount, we brought again unto thee out of the land of Canaan. How then should we, how then? Should we steal out of the Lord's house silver and gold? With whomsoever of thy servant it shall be found, but let him die, and we also will be my Lord's bondmen. And he said, Now also let it be according unto thy words, he with, he with whom it, it is found shall be my servant, and ye shall be blameless. Then they speedily took away, took down every man his sack to the ground, and opened every mouth, every man his sack. And, this, and he searched and began at the oldest and the eldest, and left at the youngest, and the cup was found in Jem Benjamin's sack. Then they went, then, then they rent their clothes and landed every man his ass and returned to the city. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house for he was not yet for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What did is that what did is this that we have done? What ye not that such a man as I can certainly divine? As Judah said, What shall we as Judah said, what shall we? As Judah said, what shall we say unto thy Lord, unto my Lord? What shall we seek, speak, or how shall we clear ourselves? God had found that uh, the iniquity. God had found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, but we, but we, and he also, with whom the cup is found. And he said, God forbid that I should do so. But the man in whose hand the cup is found. He shall be my servant, and as for you, get up in peace unto your father. Then Judah came near unto him and said, O my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word in my Lord's ears, and let not thy anger burn against thy servant, for all thy even as Pharaoh. 
My Lord asked his servant, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he is and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou saidst unto thy servant, Bring him thou, bring him down unto unto me that I may set my eyes upon him. And we said unto my Lord, The lad cannot leave his father, if for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou said unto thy servant, Except the youngest brother come down with you, ye shall see my face no more. And it came to pass when we came up unto thy servants with my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down if our, if our youngest brother be with us. Then we will go again, for we may not see the man's face except our youngest brother is be with us. And thy servant, my father, said unto us, Ye know that my wife bear me two sons. And the one went out from me, and I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since, not since. And if ye take this also one, this one also from me, and mischief before him, ye shall bring down my grey hairs with soul to the grave. I thought I read Sorrow to the Grave. For thy servant became surely for that the lad unto his father, saying, If I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the lad, a bondman to my Lord, and let and let the lad go up with the bedroom. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lad shall be with me? Lest by adventure I see evil that shall come on my father. For five, then, then Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him. And he cried, caused every man to go out for him. And he stood, there was no man with him. Why Joseph made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph, doth my father yet alive? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom ye sold unto Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourself, and ye sold me hither. For God did send me before you to preserve life. But for these two years had the famine been in the land, and yet... There are five years in which there shall neither be eating nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve you a, a prosperity in the earth and to save your lives by a great de deliverance. So now it was not unto you that sent me hither, but God and the and he had made me a father to Pharaoh and the Lord of all his house and the ruler throughout in the land of Egypt. Hast ye go up to thy to my father and said unto him, Thus said uh, thy son Joseph, God hath made me a uh, lord of all Egypt, come down unto me, tarry not. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children. And thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy heads, and all that thou hast, and there will, and there will I nourish thee. For yet there are five years of famine, lest thy uh, and thou and thy household and all thy hast come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see, and your eyes of your brother's Benjamin, that is, 
that it is my mouth that speaketh unto you. And ye shall tell my father and of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that I have, that ye have seen. And ye shall haste, and ye shall haste and bring my fathers, bring down my father ye. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept unto upon his neck, and moreover he kissed all his brethren and wept upon them. And after his brethren talked with him, and the fame thereof was was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brethren are come, and it pleased Pharaoh well on his servants. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, Say unto thy brethren, These do ye, let your beast and go, get you unto the land of I'm guessing Canaan, right? Yes, Canaan. Of Canaan. And take your father and your household and come unto me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and ye shall eat the fat of the land. And now that I've uh, now that art commanded, do this ye. Take your wagons out of the land of Egypt for the little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come. And also regard not your store, for the good of the land of Egypt is yours. And the children of Israel did so. And Joseph gave them wagons according to the commandments of Pharaoh, and gave them provisions for the way. To all of them he gave each man changes of raiment, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred pieces of silver and five hundred changes of raiment. Of raiment. And to his father he sent after this manner. After this manner, ten asses laden with the goods of Egypt, and ten she asses laden with the corn and bread and meat of for, for his father by the way. So he sent his brethren away, and they departed, and he said unto them, See that ye shall that ye fall not out by the way. And they were, and they went on to went up out of Egypt and unto the land of Canaan unto their father Jacob and told him saying Joseph is yet alive and he is Gorova not over all the land of Egypt and Jacob's heart fainted for he believed them not and they told him all the words of Joseph which he had said unto them and when they, when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him the spirit of Jacob their father revived and Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is yet alive. I will go and see him before I die. 46. And Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifice unto the God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Isaac in the vision of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, Here am I. And he said, uh, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will, uh, but for I will dare make thee a great nation. I will dare make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will and I will surely bring thee up, bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thy eyes. And just Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and the little ones out of the and their wives into the wagon which Pharaoh that had sent him to carry that have sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods which they had in would they have gotten in the land of Canaan and into the and came into the Egypt and came into Egypt Jacob and all his seed with him, his son and his son's sons with him, his daughters and his son's daughters, and all his seed brought he with him unto Egypt. And these are the names of children of Israel which came into Egypt, Jacob, Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the son of Reuben, Hanok and Pharaoh and Hitron and and Kami, and the sons of Sunwem, Simon. Jemon and Jamin and Ohad and Jakin and Zoko and Zohar and Shaw, the son of Canaanite, Canaanite woman, 
And the sons of Levi, Jaho, Jason, Koha, and Mirari. And the sons of Judah, E and Anon, and Shera, and Phares, and Zara, and but E and Onan died in the land of Canaan, and the son of Phares were Zeron, Hezron, and Hamo. And the sons of Ashaka, and the son of Asaka, Tula, and Puva, and Job, and Shimron, and the sons of Jerubim, Jeburum, Sired, and Elon, and Jari. These be the sons of Lee. Which she bare unto Jacob in the pan Ram, in the pan in the Padamaram, with his daughter Dina, and the sons and the souls of his son and daughters were testing and tree, and the sons of God, Ziphion, Mahagi, and Shuni, and Z and Esbon, and Eli, and Arodi, and Eladi, and the sons of Asha, Jimna, and Isha, and Isu, and Beriel, and Sarah their sister, and the son of Beriel, Heba, and Micah. These are the sons of uh, Zilpha, whom Laban gave to Lee, his daughter, and she bare unto Jacob. Even sixteen sons, the sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph, and Benjamin, and unto Jim, Joseph, the land of Egypt, were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which are Senat, the daughter of Potiphar, of Potiphar, priest of On. Bear unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela and Becca and Ash and Ashbel and Gera and Nahum and Nemam and Ehi and Rosh and Mupin and Upim and Ad. These are the sons of Rachel we were born to which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen. And the sons of Dan Hoshin. And the sons of um, Naphtali, Javel, and Goni, and Javel, and Jaisel, and Shalim. These are the sons of Bewa, which, be, which labor and came unto Rachel, his daughter. And he bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. And the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of the line, which came out of the loins. Beside Jacob's son's wives, and all the souls were three sure and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born in, in Egypt, were two souls, all the souls of, jo of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt were three souls and ten. And he sent Judah before him unto jo uh, Joseph to direct his face unto Joseph. And they came into the land of Joseph and the father. And Joseph made ready his chariot and went upon up to meet his Israel, his father, to Goshen, and presented himself unto him, and he fell on his neck and wept. On this neck for a good while, and Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph sent unto his bedroom, and unto his father's house, I will go up and show it uh, Pharaoh, and said unto him, My bedroom and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me, and the house, and the men are shepherd for the for their trade has been to feed cattle, and they have brought their flocks and their heads, and all that they have. And it shall come to pass when Pharaoh shall call you and shall say, What is your occupation? That ye shall say, Yourself and straight had been about cattle uh, from all our youths, even up to now, even until now. But we and also our fathers, that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination, is an abomination unto the Egyptians. 47. Then shall chapter forty seven. Then shall then then Joseph came and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brethren and their flock and their heads and all they have are come out of the land of Canaan and behold they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of his brethren and five men and and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, They are Thy servants are fish are shepherd, but we and our fathers, they said moreover unto unto Pharaoh, for to sojourn in the land as we come, 
and the, and the land are we come, for thy servants house no pasture for their flocks. For the farmer and his son in the land of Canaan, now therefore we pray thee that let thy servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh spake unto Joseph, saying, Thy father and thy brethren are come unto thee, the land of Egypt is before thee, in the best of the land. Make thy father and brethren to dwell in the land of Goshen, let them dwell. And if thou knowest any man of activity among them, then make them rulers over thy cattle, over my cattle. And Joseph brought in, in Jacob his father and set him before Pharaoh, and, jo and Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Jacob, How old art thou? And Jacob said unto Pharaoh, These of the, the days of the years of my of my pilgrimage are and hundred and thirty years, few and evil the days of of the years of my life being, and had and have not attained unto the days of the years. Of the life of my fathers in the days and their pilgrimage. And Jacob, and Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out before Pharaoh. And Jacob placed his father and his brethren and gave them a possession in the land of Egypt, in the best land and in the best reminiscences. And Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph nourished his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in the land of, and uh, there was no bread in all the land for the famine was so sore, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by the reason of the famine. And J and Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt, and in the land of Canaan, and corn which they brought, and Joseph brought the money into Pharaoh's house. And when and when money filled the land of Egypt and in the and in the land of Canaan, and all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money filled it. And Joseph said, Give your cattle, and I'll give you for your cattle if money fill. And they brought their cattle unto Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for the horses and for the flows and for the cattle of the herds and for the asses and for the fed. And fed them with bread and for all their cattle for that year. When that year ended, they came unto him for his second year and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord that how that our money is spent. My, my Lord also had our, our heads of cattle. There is out left in thy sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes? Both we and our land, buy us and our land for bread, and, our, and we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live, not die, that the land be not desolate. And Joseph bought the, all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them, so the land became Pharaoh's, and, of, and as of, for all the people, he removed them to cities from one from one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other end thereof. Only the land of the priest be brought only the land of the priest brought he not, for the priest had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh and did and did eat their portion and did eat their portion. I ended the abortion Pharaoh gave them. There, wherefore they sold not their land. Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have brought you this day and all your land for Pharaoh. Lo, lo, here is the seed for you, and ye shall sow the land. And it shall come to pass to increase in that ye shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh, for, for the four parts shall be your own for seed of the ye. And for your food, and forgive them their household, and for your food, for your loved ones, for your little ones. And they say, Thou hast saved our life, let us give grace in thy sight, my Lord, and be Pharaoh's servant. And Joseph made it law over the land of Egypt unto the day that Pharaoh should 
have the fifth part except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessed therein and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt seventeen years. So the whole age of Jacob was a hundred and forty seven years, and he grew, drew nigh that Israel must die, and he called his son Joseph, and said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, put, I pray thee, thy, thy hand unto thy nine. Like tie and deal kindly and truly with me, bury me not, I pray thee in Egypt. But I will lie in my father's, and thou shalt carry me out of Egypt and bury me in burying place. And he said, I will do as thy said. And he said, Swear unto me, and he swear unto him. And Israel bowed himself upon the bed's head. And it came to pass after this thing that one told Joseph, Behold, my father is sick, and he told his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, and one to jo jo Jacob, and, ja and, be and say, Behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee, and Israel strengthened himself, and sat upon the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at Lord in the land of Canaan, and blessed me. the land of Ken and blessed me. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee, and I will make thee a multitude of people, and I will give thee lands to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Messiah, and Manasseh, which were born unto the land of the land of Egypt, which were born in the land of Egypt, before I came unto the in the into Egypt are mine. As Reuben and Simon, they shall be mine. And thy issue without begat, begat says after them shall be thine, and shall be called after the name of the brethren in the in the inheritance. And as for me, when I came from Pedal. Rachel died by me in thy land of Canaan, in thy way, and in the way, when yet, when yet there was but a lead to way to come into Ephraim, and I buried her there in the way of Ephraim, the same is Bethlehem. And Israel beheld Joseph's son and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, These are my son, who God had given unto me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I will pray thee unto me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for his age, so that he could not see. And he brought them unto him, and he kissed them and embraced them. And Israel said unto Joseph, I, will, I had not thought to see thy face. And lo, God said, Has shown me all thy seed. And Joseph said, and Joseph brought them out of out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both Ephraim in his right hand to towards Israel left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel left hand, right hand, and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger. And left hand upon Manasseh, guarding his hands wittingly. For Manasseh for was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life long unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless thee, lads. And let my name be named on them, and, let, and the name of my father Abraham. And Isaac can let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw that he that his father laid the right hand that his father laid the right hand upon the, the head of Ephraim, it displeased him, and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for 
is the firstborn puts the right hand upon his head and his father refused and said i know it my son i i know it he shall he also shall become a people become a people and and he also shall be great, but truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that they saying, Indeed shall Israel Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and Manasseh, and he said up on he said unto Ephraim before Manasseh, and Israel said unto uh, Joseph, Before I die. But God shall be with you and bring you up and bring you again unto the land of your forth of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to thee one portion above my above thy bedroom, which I took out of the land of Amorite with my sword, with my bow. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourself together and hear. Hear sons of Jacob and hearken unto your brothers unto your unto Israel your father. Reuben down thou at wine forty nine wine forty nine uh we are in forty nine right now. We are in forty nine we are in forty nine right now. Ruben, like, why is that so difficult for me to say? Reuben that we are in forty nine right now. I guess it's because of the nine. Thou art my firstborn, my my might and and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water that shall not excel, because thou wasted up to thy father's bed. Then the father's thou eat, he went up to my couch, sermon on levy, bed and bedroom, instruments of purity are in their habitations. O oh, my soul, could come, come not thou unto into their secrets, unto their se, unto their assembly, my honour. He not thou united, for in their anger that they slew a man, and in the self will, and in the self will they dig down a wall. Caused be their anger, for it was fierce, and they were rats, for it was cruel, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them for in I scatter them in Israel. Judah at he whom thy brethren shall praise than harmful be in the neck of thy enemy of their enemy of thy enemies, my father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey my son shall thou art gone up. He stood down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion who shall rise him up, who shall rise him, who shall rouse him up. This this scepter shall depart from Judah, not nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Unto Shiloh came, unto Shiloh come, and unto him shall thy guardian of thy of the people be. Blinding his foe unto the vine, and his axe go unto the choice vine, and he washed his garments in vine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth shall be white with milk. Zebulun shall dwell at the heaven of the sea, at the heaven of the sea, and it shall be for an heaven of sheep, and his border shall be unto Zidon. Isaiah is a strong ass couching down between two bodies, and he saw that the rest was good, and the land of and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant into tribute. Thou shalt judge his people as as one of the tribes of Israel. Thou shalt be a serpent by the day, another in the in the path that biteth the horse heel, so that his rider shall fall. Forwards, back shall fall backwards. I'm sorry, again for the like sixteen time. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. God, the troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. As of Asha, his bread shall be fat, and he shall eat royal dances. 
And Naphtali is a blind, is a hind. Let's let's do the give it goodly words. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall. The Akas have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him, but his bow above and the strength and the arms of his hand were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. I mean, like chapter 49. Of Genesis. <laughs> but his bow uh, 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 in brackets open and close is like from dance is the shepherd uh, the stone of Israel even by the God of thy father who has, who shall help thee and, uh, and by the almighty who shall bless thee with his Blessings of heaven above, blessing of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breast and the wombs. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessing of the pro progenitors unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the clan of the head of him that was separate from his bedroom. Benjamin shall have him as a wolf. In the morning shall he devour the prey, and at the night shall he divide the spoil. All these are twelve tribes of Israel, and that is that for their fathers spoke unto them and blessed them. Every one according to his blessing, he blessed them. And he charged them and said unto them, I am gathered unto my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron, the Hittites, the Hittites, the Hittites. In the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan. Which Abraham bought with uh, the field of Ephron the Hittite for a possession of a burying place. There were there, there they buried Abraham and Sarah wife, uh, Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife, and there I buried uh, Leah. The purchase of the field and of the cave that is therein was the children of heads. And when Jacob had had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet and into his bed and yet up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. Genesis chapter 50 And Joseph fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servant, the physician, the physician to embalm his father, and the physician embalmed Israel. And forty days were fulfilled for him and for for us, and so as fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed, and the Egyptian mourned for him three score and ten days. And when the days of the mourning were past, Joseph spoke unto the days of Pharaoh, saying, If now I found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the, in the eyes of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swell, saying, Lo, I die in my grave. Which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan, shall thou bury me? Now thereof let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, Go up I, and bury thy father according as he made uh, as he made this well. And Joseph went to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants, Pharaoh, the elder of the house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt. And all the house of Joseph and his brethren and his father's house, only their little ones and their flocks and their heads, they left in the land of Goshen. And they went up with uh, him, both chariots and horsemen, and it was very, it was a very great company. And they came to fleshing floor uh, of Etad, which is beyond Jordan, and they were mourned with a great and very low very sore lamentation, and he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning of the, or in the flood of Eta, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians. Wherefore, the name of it was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. And his son did unto him according as, his, as, his, as he commanded him, as he commanded them, sorry, 
for the seventeenth time. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the in the cave of the field of the marshpeller, which Abraham brought, which Abraham bought with a field of, for the possession of a burying place of Ephron the Hittite before Mamre. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brethren, and all that went up with him to bury his father. And he said, Bury his father, and when Joseph bedroom, and when Joseph's bedroom saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hit us and certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye unto Joseph forgive, I pray thee now, thy trespass of thy brethren and thy on their sin, for they did unto the they did unto thee evil, and now we pray thee, forgive thy forgive the trespass of thy servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we thy servants. And uh, Joseph said unto him, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it good. But, meant it God, but God meant it unto good, but to bring, meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day. So save much people alive to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones, and be comforted them. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And Joseph dwelt in the in Egypt, and he and his father's he and his father's house, and Joseph lived a hundred and ten years, one hundred and ten years Joseph lived. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children in the third generation. The children also of Micah, the son of uh, Manasseh, were brought upon were brought up upon Joseph's knee. And Joseph uh, said unto him, unto his bedroom, I die, and God will surely visit you and bring you out of the land unto the land which ye swear to e to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And Joseph took an oath of uh, the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Jacob died, so Joseph died, being an hundred and ten years old, and they, embraced, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. And that is the end of Genesis. I read the whole of Genesis in order, like, I think, how many hours, how long you can see. I read the whole of Genesis. And please, if you if you watched up to this point, um, please subscribe. Or if you skip the video to this point, please uh, just watch at least five minutes of the video. Just at least watch five minutes. And this is the Bible. If you love the Bible, you have to like watch five minutes because you know five minutes won't kill you. You know, I want the video to be promoted around YouTube. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not expecting more than like 1,000 views on this video. But anyways, you know, miracle happens and miracles happens and. Um, a lot can happen, I'm telling you, a lot can happen and, you know, I was like thinking of this video and finally I made it and I'm so happy of it, so, and if you have not given your life to Christ, you have to give your life to Christ, he's the only way, the truth and the light, and the life, I'm sorry, and, um, yeah, that's it for this video, please watch five minutes, watch the first five minutes or wherever you watch the five minutes of this longer of this long video just try to like uh, watch um only five minutes so you know youtube algorithm promotes it to more viewers and in that way i will send you off with uh bye right Hold on. um let me recite um the lord's prayer for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not die but have a love for last night. I feel like John Tracy. Okay, bye. See you. This was so hard.
So please consider subscribing. Like I said before, and 